Last question about films are how did you like Barbie and Oppenheimer? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Tarantino is kind of condescending when he describes Fincher because he says, "Ha yaar agar script hai mere paas aari hoti to main bhi ab tak 25 bana chuka hota." No, Akin Phoenix. I didn't really like what he did with Joker. Ah, you didn't like Are you in general planning to make a show? I would be happy to make one if it's not considered too dark. That's the only thing. Otherwise, you are. That's the only thing. मतलब that's that's the thing. Hi Kanu, how are you? Welcome to Chal Chitra Talks. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So Kanu, I'm going to take a lot of recommendations from you. Like I was telling you, कि हमारे show का format ये है. But before that, like uh, I wanted to tell the audience and also remind you, मैं आपसे मिला था एक बार पहले और you were a savior to me. मैं धर्मशाला में था. And uh, Dharamshala Film Festival tha. Main to Triun trek pe gaya. Have you done that trek? No, I haven't. I haven't. But you must have heard of it. Wahan pe ek Triun ka bahut sundar trek hai. But uh, mere ko tha ki yaar Dharamshala Film Festival ho raha hai. To ek picture to dekhni hai. And the first one was Titli ka premiere tha. And I didn't have tickets. But aisi mere bhag book ke kahi gaya. And I told you ki sir mere ko dekhni hai. And I have ek do reference lagane ki koshish ki. And you didn't know me You're like मैं हाँ देखते हूँ कुछ करता हूँ और मैं बाहर खड़ा रहा हूँ वेरी फिल्मी स्टफ हो गया आई थिंक आई ऑल्सो चेज डी और कार क्योंकि मेरे को था मेरे को देख लिया एंड देन जो वहाँ पर जो क्यूरेट कर रही थी शी टोल मी आपके लिए दो टिकट चल रही है यस एंड देन आई सॉ इट यू वो वेरी पेशेंट आपके पास बहुत सारे फिल्म स्टूडेंट्स भी आए थे क्यू एन ए में उसके बाद आपसे ऐसे बहुत टेक्निकल चीज़ें समझ रहे थे और आप उनको बोल रहे थे यार तुम हर चीज़ में इतना <laughs> क्यों मेटाफर निकालने की कोशिश कर रहे हो <laughs> <laughs> do you think people do that ki <laughs> i yeah i think there can be a tendency to do that because aap mostly jab filmmakers kaam kar rahe hote hain bahut instinct se kaam kar rahe hote hain aur especially meri pehli film thi main to padhai likhai to kari thi uske around kafi had tak but phir bhi i think when you're preparing yourself you're preparing yourself to not think essentially yes. to get to a place where you're not thinking exactly. when you're shooting when when you're actively engaged yeah. with the process of creating so i think uh, yeah so you're working out of instinct right. you've put yourself in that place where you're take making so many decisions not fully knowing yeah. i i think unconsciously you know what you're doing but just the act of putting yourself in that place jahan aap bilkul free ho jao and it's like you're in that moment filmmakers i think wo moment mein hi kar rahe hote hain exactly and bahar se kai bar you know you can look at it and you can say ha ye it, oh was this done for this but yeah a lot a lot of stuff is done just i think with instinct ethan ok ka i think a quote is acting is all about like uh, activating your subconscious कि यार हम सब जो करते हैं वो इसके लिए करते हैं कि उस मोमेंट में हमारा सबकॉन्शियस एक्टिवेट हो जाए या द ओनली चेंज आई वुड मेक टू दैट दैट इज से एक्टिवेटिंग द अनकॉन्शियस मोर देन इवन द सबकॉन्शियस इट्स अबाउट एक्टिवेटिंग द अनकॉन्शियस फॉर द टाइम एंड स्पेस दैट यू आर ट्राइंग टू कैप्चर जस्ट सेंसिंग व्हाट यू आर फीलिंग इन दैट मोमेंट एट दैट टाइम इन दैट स्पेस अब आप आ गए हो इस जगह उस जगह को रिएक्ट करना और जो आपके आसपास उस समय हो रहा है आई थिंक वो important cheeze hoti hain you know there is the show entourage have you seen it no i haven't so entourage uh, mein ek uh, wo film industry ke bare mein hai ki there is an actor uska pura entourage hai and he is meeting a lot of filmmakers getting a lot of films usme james cameron ka ek cameo hai aur i think he is at like uh, sundance film festival और उस पर उससे कोई एक बहुत ऐसे इंथु वाला कोई बंदा की पूछता है कि मिस्टर कैमरन की जब आपने टाइरानिक बनाई थी सो इज दैट अ मेटाफर ऑन द कैपिटलिस्टिक नेचर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड दैट इट द वे ऑफ नेचर आई एन नो आई जस्ट वांटेड टू सी यंग गर्ल्स क्राइम और और अ वेरी बिग शिप सिंग and why is it disappoint to ke chale jate shit i thought they will be more to it log aapse disappoint nahi hote when they ask you something sir iska subtext ye tha nahi wala nahi yaar main to bas main to yehi kar raha tha mera instinct tha they like shit yaar ye to itna deep hai nahi jitna mera socha tha wo i think wo disappointment to har ek ke sath hota hai aap kisi ko bhi bahar se dekhte ho aur actually jaake jab milte ho to wo ek tarah ka disappointment hi hota hai because at the end of the day we are all human beings and we are all sort of practicing our own art form and trying to do what we are trying to do piece by piece right. brick by brick we are trying to construct something so i think more than anything agar aap kisi moment mein ho aur aap truly us moment mein ho to aapko 
पता चलता भी नहीं है आप क्या कर रहे हो और और सारी एक्सरसाइज तो यही है कि यू हैव टू बी इन दिस मोमेंट राइट सो इफ यू आर एक्टिवली कंस्ट्रक्टिंग स्टफ अदर देन ऑफ कोर्स द मेटा ऑफ वॉट यू आर ट्राइंग टू डू द मेटा थीम सो टू से ऑफ ऑफ वॉट यू आर ट्राइंग टू अचीव इफ यू आर लुकिंग एट द ब्रिक्स पर से देन यू आर ओनली कंस्ट्रक्टिंग योर सेल्फ टू लेट से मेकिंग द हाउस दैट यू नो ऑलरेडी हैज बीन मेड if you know what i mean right yeah, yeah, yeah. so you are you are constricting yourself to a similarish kind of space that will get constructed because aapne wo dekha hai so the idea is to throw out throw out all ideas of how spaces are if we are taking the metaphor of constructing a house ki bhul jao sare ghar baki sare ghar kaise bane aur ab yahan aa jao aur dekho tumhara ghar kaisa hai tumhara ghar kaisa banega tumhe nahi pata kaisa banega aur ab kaisa banega dekho so i think once you are in that space तो कोई भी बाहर से आके आपको स्ट्रक्चरल सवाल पूछेगा वो थोड़ा डिसअपॉइंट ही होगा बिकॉज है आपका स्ट्रक्चर लेकिन आपका इंडेवर ही यही है कि आपका एक स्ट्रक्चर वो हो और इस तरह से बने और उसमें इतना स्पेस हो कि वो सबका स्ट्रक्चर बन जाए तो सब अपना स्ट्रक्चर बना ही रहे राइट दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ गिवस मी स्ट्रेंथ बिकॉज यू फील लाइक ओ ओके सो इट हैज द स्पेस दैट सम वन कैन इंटरप्रेट इट लाइक दिस विच इज वॉट यू वर ट्राइंग टू अचीव दैट इट बिकम्स अ कॉन्वर्सेशन इट्स नॉट लाइक यू नो थिंग कि ये यही है दैट देन जस्ट बिकम्स लाइक अ सर्मन विच इज नॉट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ट्रू दिस इज क्यू एन ऑफ डेविड लिंच वो उसकी क्लिप बहुत फेमस है मिस्टर लिंच कैन यू प्लीज एक्सप्लेन वॉट लाइक दिस सीन मीन एंड इज लाइक नो आई डोट वॉट ये सही है यार की बिकॉज उनका भी बड़ा ऐसे मेडिटेटिव और ड्रीम लाइक जिसको वो लिंचियन बोलते हैं आई वॉज सींग दिस लिंच क्लिप एक्चुअली फ्यू डेज बैक वेर he sort of mouth stuff on this girl ki, uh, on shoot don't tell me ki, ki. don't tell me about the length and <laughs> uh, and all that i mean that's what i'm saying that you are in that moment and that moment is all that matters not you trying to control that moment and fit it in a aur isme contradiction ye he is the one who promotes transcendental meditation the most wo meditation aur in cheezon ko wo baat karte hai aur aap ye dekhte ho ki yaar okay ye kya chal raha hai but uh, we are if we are talking about david lynch like uh, have you seen like any of his films do you like him as a filmmaker i love him as a as a filmmaker actually i mean uh the the series twin peaks twin peaks uh-huh. obviously i got I actually got introduced to it very late. I got introduced to Twin Peaks uh, postly actually. Wow. I I saw Twin Peaks 2016 or something mm-hmm. and it was amazing. The first two seasons. Mm-hmm. I I won't talk yeah. so much about the third yeah, season. Yeah, yeah. First two seasons are a thing of their own yeah. completely. They yeah. I hadn't seen anything else like that and I really enjoyed some of the the yeah the dreams specifically the yeah. dreams playing in reverse that was just an amazing sort of tool which i was taken aback by and how much that opened up the space within the series yes. for me to interact with bhai jo main cheez bol raha tha na it it became a thing for myself which i found really interesting ki kuch aapne kuch kaha nahi par aapne kuch kaha aur wo maine suna aur ab wo mera kuch ban gaya which i found really really interesting and which is which is i think the 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 thing about uh most filmmakers that end up making us remember their work after it's over you know one one of my rules is aapne kuch dekha aur aap cinema hall se ya apna tv screen band karke fridge tak gaye aur aapne apna beer nikala tab tak aapko yaad hai ya nahi you know it shouldn't finish when the thing you're watching is is has ended is it still talking to you and i think most of lynch's work does that with you which is which is why i feel it's magical and one of my favorite films is lost highway unki meko eraser head bahut pasand hai eraser head is the one that i really like and he has a very fascinating youtube channel are you aware of it so what where he does weather reports he <laughs> do like i have to show it to you wo kya aate hain or uh, it's दी वियडेस्ट थिंग यू विल एवर सी वो रोज आके वेदर पढ़ते हैं एंड ही अभी नहीं कर रहा है आई थिंक शूटिंग समथिंग बट ही डिड दिस इन स्टार्टेड इट इन कोविड आई विल शो यू वन वीडियो गुड मॉर्निंग इट्स डिसम्बर ट्वेल्व टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू एंड इट्स ए मंडे हियर इन एल आई इट्स रेनिंग क्लाउडी वेरी स्टिल राइट नाउ फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज फेयर एन हाइट around 7 celsius today no music <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
दैट्स इट ही डज दिस थिंग जहाँ पे ये वेदर रिपोर्ट पढ़ते हैं और इनके पास एक जार होता है जिससे एक नंबर निकालते हैं एंड ही हैज डन दिस फॉर लाइक कंसिस्टेंटली एवरी डे फॉर टू ईयर्स Here we go for today's number. It's December 16, 2022. Ten balls. Each ball has a number. Numbers one through ten. Swirl the numbers. Pick a number. Today's number is. One. That's it. Every day a new number and every day a weather report. No explanation altogether. <laughs> too like it's too David Lynch. I think it's it's a little bit also about reclaiming space. It's just you know the moment he's there, in a way, I think you're breaking through some sort of clutter and. I think it's a beautiful way of just forming your own narrative without. I think it strengthens your narrative by doing an exercise like that. Which is कैसे कैसे मैं को ये बताएगा? How would it strengthen your narrative? Because I think आप a आप the moment you are doing an exercise like this, you are putting yourself out there in a world where people want to know more about you, but you are not telling them about yourself. But you are still out there, and you are talking about what you want to talk about, which might not make sense to the person who is watching. but it makes sense to you and oh. you are articulating a whole narrative which is symbolic and even if there is there is an absence of symbology or or yes. let's let's say something let's say the exercise of taking out a number uh abhi isme ho sakta hai koi connection hai uh uske liye apna ya ho sakta nahi hai but the sheer point of fulfilling this exercise I think propagates your larger gaze and your narrative. So I think, us hisab se it strengthens your worldview to participate in this sort of an exercise and articulate it with a large number of people who are your audience, but not give them what they want in the way they want it. So I think that's very interesting. Lovely. मतलब अब वही कि there is no symbolism in this, and that is the symbolism वाली जो चीज़ है. Possibly, or <laughs> may, maybe there is a symbolism. and you are saying i don't necessarily want to articulate the symbolism to you i just main bas aapko rubaru karana chahta hu isse now if you are curious enough then you go engage with the with it so it is also a call towards curiosity in that sense agar aap agar aap dekho ki ye sabke liye work kar raha hai jiska connection hai jisko samajh mein aa raha hai usko samajh mein aa raha hai jisko nahi aa raha hai to wo usse ye sawal puch raha hai kya aap curious enough ho iske bare mein kuch karne ke liye which again is reclaiming your own space because you are strengthening a some sort of a call towards curiosity so i think it functions on many yeah. it can function on and this is how filmmaking also works right yeah. like jo bhi aapne cheeze boli if we talk about let's say a film you made wouldn't it hold true for that also i mean one hopes so with yeah. with whatever one is doing that's what we are hoping that it as i said shuru mein you know that aap ek ghar bana rahe ho aur wo ghar आपके लिए शेप में है एक नई शेप में है होपफुली जो किसी ने पहले नहीं देखी है क्योंकि अगर वो नई शेप में है तभी वो घर बनाने का पॉइंट है नहीं तो मेरे लिए वो घर बनाना का कोई पॉइंट नहीं अगर वो पहले बन चुका है उस स्टाइल का घर तो आपने एक घर बनाया जो आपके लिए शेप में है लेकिन आप ये भी कोशिश कर रहे हो कि ये स्पेसेस किसी और के लिए उनकी तरह रिकग्नाइजेबल हो ताकि वो इस घर का अपना दरवाजा ढूंढ के इसमें घुस जाए so you know a good piece of film or a good piece of uh, uh, of art whatever it is i think should have the space to do that ki wo aapko kahin se bhi andar ghusne de aur jab andar ghus le to then it surrounds you completely so that then you can you know explore it the way you want to so i don't want to start with the jo top 3 jo cheeze hoti hain jo arts mein aati hain jis at least hamare channel pe hum jinki baat karte hain music books and movies i want to start with आर्ट्स में आपको इन जनरल व्हाट फैसिनेट्स यू एज एन ऑब्जर्वर जब आप कुछ देखते हो तो लेट्स से पेंटिंग अ ह्यूमन बीइंग आपको व्हाट आर योर फैसिनेशन की यार ये चीज के बारे में मैं बड़ा सोचता हूँ मतलब माय बेसिक फैसिनेशन इज आई थिंक जस्ट पीपल आई लव टू ऑब्जर्व पीपल आई लव टू बिकम दैम बी दैम सम फील लाइक दैम सो आई आई मीन लिटरली अगर इफ इफ यू आर इन अ गैदरिंग विद मी I think most often you'll find me in a corner, mm-hmm. silently with a 
drink in my hand or whatever because I have to hold it. So yeah, I mean, I'm I'm mostly a person that will find the corner and find a happy corner where you're most invisible and be in a position to just look around and feel like what other people are feeling and live their stories in in as much sort of imagined detail as as you can. And how actively do you go out to seek art in life? Just like you party ka bataya jaa, human being ho. But like let's say if it comes to an uh, event which is happening, just like I call in Mac me ye jo uh, Yayoi Kusama ka ek exhibition lagi hai, kisi ek artist ke exhibition lagi hai. Do you actively go and seek uh, places where you can get inspired by when it is not people? Not really, because I think also because the city that we live in, especially Bombay, doesn't have many spaces where you can go and explore yeah. art per se. Whenever you're traveling, you're outside. Yes, if you have, uh, uh, you know, certain interesting things that you want to do, you do those. But Bombay, may I don't find yeah. many spaces which will sort of, you know, fulfill that desire, that need. So I'll be probably reading more than yeah. going out and how does it shift in travel just abhi aap apni movies ke jaise itne festivals bhi jaate honge wagera so what's the how does the operator inside you operate then observer inside you operate then i'm very basic that way yaar i will what i like to do is i like to take really long walks really long bus rides when i'm when i'm outside uh, and talk to strange people uh, talk to strangers not strange people talk to strangers uh so you know some of the most interesting conversations that i've had are actually in buses i was in brussels where i met this really old white woman in the bus who was sitting next to me and we ended up talking and she missed her bus stop and i missed my bus stop before sunrise chal raha <laughs> <laughs> sort of it, it was kind of like that because both of us just kept on talking because after a point she had to get off and then she said nahi acha main ek do stop baad utar jaungi do stop baad mera stop tha to to usne bola tumko kahan utarna hai so i was like mera yahi hai but you know i'm to just roaming so i can go on so we kept on talking and you know she told me like a lot about her life about the social security system in belgium and it has apparently in europe one of the best uh social security systems is in uh, in belgium so she spoke a lot about her life and that just becomes you know i think it's a very very interesting way to get to know people cultures you know rather than i, I mean for me it's it's much more interesting to do that sort of a trip rather than go to an art gallery or yes, or or 100%. do that so to wo main bahut karta hu i will randomly walk and just stop by you know sometimes street performers and and speak yes. to them and yeah so that sort of stuff i i i do quite a bit which has been your favorite travel spot jo apne work or otherwise uh, work ki wajah se otherwise explore kiya ki i really like this place <laughs> i mean my all time favorite is berlin i would say my i mean my favorite city is berlin i think there's a little bit of nostalgia attached to it because that's the first place i went to ever outside india but but even i i mean i've been to berlin several times after that and i feel like it's to me it's one of the most uh, beautiful complete cities in the world because it feels like a small town and yet it has everything that a city should have so it has a very nice combination of anonymity you can stay anonymous and yet you're never too far away from anything so it has all the comfort of a city without feeling like a city which i feel is really beautiful and what about in india a place that you really like ah uh, in india stuff uh but calcutta again i think there's a little bit of nostalgia attached to it because i went to film school there mai 4 saal raha but i think everything about the bengali culture the literature the way they look at cinema uh is just i find the culture really fascinating and and beautiful What do you think of nostalgia as an emotion? Like, do you seek nostalgia consciously? आपको है कि नहीं भाई मैं नहीं सोचता जो हो गया हो गया. मुझे लगता है nostalgia filmmakers के लिए सबसे ज़्यादा destructive होता है. क्या बात कर रहे हो? ये तो. Because nostalgia, I think, is the almost the first pitfall. What it's it's mean? the first गड्ढा that you can fall into as a filmmaker. <laughs> अच्छा <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so I I have this slight uh, 
I'm wary of nostalgia. Interesting. Uh, yeah, because I feel like it makes you uh, sentimental. And I think it's really important अगर आप actually किसी से because देख अभी जैसे मैं और तू भी बात कर रहे हैं if either of us become too जैसे बोलते हैं ना जज्बात की रोह में बह जाना या we become too driven by what we are feeling then the conversation can derail really quickly so I think also when you're trying to communicate in an open way and when you're having honest conversation with someone, it has to have some sort of distance in your head from the conversation that you're having. Because if you feel it in that point, pe, then you're just, you know, then it can go anywhere. And most filmmakers actually operate out of personal experience, yes. which, which can be linked to memory yes. and which can be linked to emotions yes. that you felt, hmm. right? But it's another thing to, uh, to want to do something with those emotions and with those feelings. And it's completely a different thing to have the distance from those emotions now to be able to look at them objectively. Because kya hota hai ki agar aap अपनी इमोशन के साथ इतनी स्ट्रॉंगली जुड़े हुए हो तो फिर वो इन अ वेरी स्क्रूड अप सॉर्ट ऑफ वे हेजोग्राफिकल बन जाता है फॉर हेजोग्राफिकल मतलब हेजोग्राफिकल मतलब एक कैरेक्टर की जस्टिफिकेशन बन जाता है वो वो एक जस्टिफिकेशन बन जाता है जबकि आप जब आप आप किसी भी कैरेक्टर को इनजस्टिस नहीं कर सकते हो ना अगर आप आप फिल्म लिख रहे हो जिसमें दस लोग हैं तो वो दस लोगों की कहानी है हाँ है उसमें से एक बंदा आगे जिसकी लगता है आपको वो कहानी है पर वो अकेला नहीं रह रहा वो तो एक ग्रुप में रह रहा है उसके आसपास लोग हैं हम सबके आसपास लोग हैं तो उसके भी आसपास लोग हैं तो अगर आपको उसकी कहानी अच्छे से कहनी है तो आपको सबकी कहानी उतनी ही अच्छे से कहनी पड़ेगी पर अगर आप नोस्टैलिया से सेंटिमेंटली वहां से आ रहे हो तो आप चाहो या ना चाहो उसकी कहानी ज्यादा पावरफुल होगी सो फॉर मी आई थिंक द फर्स्ट थिंग इज टू कट आउट द नोस्टैलिया टू बी एबल टू बी एबल टू बैलेंस एंड है have a in spite of being within and making the audience feel like they are living someone's life somewhere there is a spiritual hokai on it and at the end aap aap dekhte ho to itne magan ho gaye ki aap chal rahe ho chal rahe ho chal rahe ho aur aapko lag raha hai aap andar ho but jab khatam hua to aap wo hokai ho jisne aap jisne ye world dekha aur aapko pata bhi nahi hai ki aapne upar se dekha so i think to create this ruse and to be able to attract that memorability to what you are doing without the audience knowing uh, you need to have your distance from any any sort of nostalgia what if there are some writers out there like just playing devil's advocate here who use nostalgia as a strength to uh, call back the memories right or uske baad wo distance la sakte hain जैसे मेरे को एक राइटर बहुत पसंद है रे ब्रैडबेरी उन्होंने कहा कि जब मैं 25 साल का था उसके बाद मैं जब तक 80 का हुआ माई गोल वॉज कि मैं जब सुबह उठता था मैं जब टाइप राइटर पर बैठता था आई वुड रिकॉल द स्मेल्स द टेक्सचर्स कि जब मैं लेनोए में रहता था तो मेरी दादी की आवाज़ें या जो भी वहाँ की इमेजरी है मैं उसको कॉल बैक करता था और वहाँ से मैं बह जाता था और स्टोरीज निकल के आ जाती थी सो वॉट इफ आप कॉन्टेंट ही ऐसा बना रहे हो या फिल्म ऐसी बना रहे हो या स्टोरी ऐसी लिख रहे हो जहाँ पे उस ऑब्जेक्टिविटी की जरूरत नहीं है यू डोंट नीड दैट हॉका व्यू इन दैट सो कैन इट ऑल्सो क्रिएट समथिंग वेरी प्योर सिर्फ नॉस्टैलिया से नहीं आ सकता मतलब देन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट टू डिफरेंट थिंग्स राइट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट आई दर यू आर डूइंग अ पीस अबाउट नॉस्टैलिया सिर्फ आप नॉस्टैलिया पे ही एक पीस कर रहे हो यू आर सेंग दैट वेन आई मेक दिस फिल्म और वट एवर वेन आई राइट दिस बुक और म्यूजिक वट एवर इट इज आई वॉन्ट पीपल टू फील nostalgia ah nostalgic for Haan. let's say what what their lives were or Haan. or plug into the feeling of nostalgia Haan, ek to wo baat Haan. ho gayi wo nahi hum bol rahe hum wo nahi bol rahe hum dusra bol rahe khud ke liye using it as a strength ki jisse main memories ko la saku main nahi jata ki yaar main meri memories ko leke aa raha hu main wo textures la pa raha hu main wo smells la pa raha hu it's like a catalyst for me if i can make good use of nostalgia par main nahi jata jab aap meri film dekho या आप मेरी किताब पढ़ो तो आप नेसेसरीली नोस्टैलजिक फील करो इट्स जस्ट इट्स लाइक दैट कैफीन फॉर मी राइट कि वो मेरे को 
इट जस्ट हाइटन अप माई इमोशन मेरे को अच्छा फील कराता है और मैं मेरा मेरा क्रिएटिव फ्लो बन जाता है उस चीज़ से हाँ बट मतलब आई वुड क्वेश्चन कॉलिंग दैट एक्ट नोस्टाइल अच्छा दिस इज नॉट नोस्टाइल आई डोंट थिंक यू रिकॉलिंग योर पास्ट एंड स्पेसिफाइंग योर पास्ट मीन्स दैट यू आर बींग नोस्टाइलजिक necessarily but agar what if i'm thinking about textures what if i'm thinking about sounds it's it can still not be nostalgia absolutely interesting yeah. so what is it then matlab agar main ye kar raha hu ya agar koi aisa kar raha hai it's pure recall you're recalling you're accessing your own emotional yes. reservoir yes hai na and using it to create something new yes yes there 100% is a new structure that has been created but nostalgia to isliye main dusre example ki baat kar raha tha mere liye wo नोस्टैलिया का एक्सेस है अगर आप नोस्टैलिया पे एक पीस कर रहे हो और आप नोस्टैलिया को इकट्ठा कर रहे हो एक नोस्टैलिया की फीलिंग देने के लिए ही देन यू आर बीइंग नोस्टैलजिक एंड दैट इज वेयर यू आर मेंशनिंग द पिटफॉल थिंग नो आई एम मेंशनिंग द पिटफॉल थिंग फॉर द अदर थिंग दिस फॉर मी वर्क्स इफ यू आर सेइंग कि मैं रिकॉल कर रहा हूं तो वो चलेगा इफ यू आर सेइंग आई एम डूइंग अ पीस अबाउट नोस्टैलजिया एंड दिस मींस आई नीड टू एक्सेस व्हाट इज द फीलिंग ऑफ बीइंग नोस्टैलजिक एंड and streamline it and put it in a in 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 a in a whatever structure that i feel uh this requires i don't know even though i don't know kya structure hoga uska but nahi bhi ho sakta structure but agar mere ko usi emotion ko aapko transfer karna hai then it makes sense to access that nostalgia or that that accessing i would call nostalgia but agar aap kuch bhi aur kar rahe ho aap already to us pe ek artificial structure dal hi rahe ho na तो आप नोस्टैलजिया से तो बाहर निकल ही रहे हो बिकॉज नोस्टैलजिया तो फिर आपको ये बोलेगा नोस्टैलजिया के तो अपना ट्रेल होता है वो तो आप इफ यू आर ट्रूली फीलिंग नोस्टैलजिक देन यू विल गो फ्रॉम वन टू ए टू बी टू सी अपने आप यू विल नॉट बी पुटिंग मार्कर्स बट द मोमेंट देर इज अ पर्सन सिटिंग ऑन अ लैपटॉप और विद अ पीस ऑफ पेपर एंड अ पेन एंड इज पुटिंग दीज पीसेज ऑफ नोस्टैलजिया टूगेदर इट्स नॉट नोस्टैलजिया एनी मोर इट्स रिकॉल it's recall now i'm saying when you are engaged in the act act of structural recall or recalling your memories or your let's not even call them memories let's let's call them experiences recalling your, your experience. very personal experiences uh-huh. and trying to articulate a structure for those experiences you know it's like herzog ne jaise particularly bola tha na that there's one of the very interesting thing that that i remember it's you know it it sort of transformed uh, uh my early documentary experience because i i read you know somewhere that he said that the most interesting documentary tends towards fiction and the most interesting fiction tends towards documentary yeah so and this was asked to him when you know he was in his phase of documentary where he was fictionalizing around what he was doing and he was saying yaar but aap ye kya bol rahe ho ki main fictionalize kar raha hu the very fact ki ek documentary mein main ek frame banata hu aur decide karta hu कि मैं ये फ्रेम बना रहा हूं और बाद में एडिट पे मैं कट कर रहा हूं तो स्ट्रक्चर तो ऑलरेडी है ना व्हाई आर यू फेकिंग इट एंड सेइंग इट्स अ डॉक्यूमेंट्री इट्स नॉट आई एम ऑलरेडी क्रिएटिंग समथिंग फिक्शनल सो आई थिंक दैट्स वेयर आई एम ट्राइंग टू गो विद दिस आई एम सेइंग देयर इज ऑलरेडी अ स्ट्रक्चर दैट यू आर पुटिंग इन प्लेस सो इट्स नॉट रियली नोस्टैल्जिया इफ यू वांट टू फॉलो थ्रू नोस्टैल्जिया विद विद फोकस देन इट्स अ स्ट्रीम ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस फिल्म बिकॉज़ दैट्स व्हाट नोस्टैल्जिया इज यू नो इट इट इज अ कॉन्शियसनेस एंड देन यू गो विद दैट स्ट्रीम और ये जो आपने हरजोग वाली बात बोली इसमें हमारे चैनल में वरुण ग्रोवर ने एक बहुत सही चीज़ बोली थी कि कि उनका ऐसा मानना है कि जब कहानी झूठी हो तो सच्ची लगनी चाहिए और जब सच्ची हो तो झूठी लगनी चाहिए कि ये सेम चीज़ वही होगी yeah. ना कि दैट्स सच एन इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग एंड हरजोग डज इट अ लॉट कि अपनी डॉक्यूमेंट्रीज में द फिक्शनल एलिमेंट या वेयर ही इज द नरेटर और कि यार ये तो मैनिपुलेशन है बट इज इट रियली मैनिपुलेशन एब्सोल्यूट and i i actually almost went into a mini crisis i i i feel when i was in film school and i was doing my documentary project tab ye sawal mere samne sabse pehli baar bahut zor se mere mere mentor jo hai unhone khada kiya tha ki ye tum kyun kar rahe ho because he came from a certain like, like a slightly different school of doc film making aur aap documentary bana rahe the i was making my doc project and i was asking too many questions to the protagonist who was a really close friend like he used to live in my room in the hostel actor tha so my doc was called an actor prepares and it's about an actor jisko kaam nahi mil raha hai bahut saalon se kaam nahi mil raha hai usne bombay mein try kar liya calcutta mein try kar liya aur ab wo kagar pe hai ki bhai main ek mahina let's say aur try karunga 
नहीं हुआ तो मैं छोड़ रहा हूँ उसको कॉल सेंटर में नौकरी मिल रही है सो ही इज एट देर इज अूमन बींग हुज एट दैट प्रेसिपिस एंड इट्स हिज लाइफ इट्स दैट इज लाइफ फॉर हिम तो वो हम शूट कर रहे थे और उसके बीच में मैं उससे बहुत ज़्यादा बात कर रहा था सो फॉर हिम फॉर माई मैंट और इट वॉज शॉर्ट ऑफ इंटरफियरेंस इन वॉट वॉज गोइंग ऑन तो वहाँ से हमारा ये पूरा डिबेट शुरू हुआ एंड आई जेनुनली टुक इट एज अ क्वेश्चन एंड इंक्वायरी एज टू यू नो वॉट आई यू डूइंग एंड आई स्टार्टेड यू नो ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड इट एंड आई फेल्ट लाइक आई डिफर्ड विद हिम एंड आई सेट बट वी आर ऑलरेडी मेकिंग दैट चॉइस राइट सो या एंड लाइक वो वाली वो जो आपकी वॉइस है हैज इट कंटिन्यूड टू फिक्शन फिल्म ऑल्सो इट हैज इन इन सम सेंस इट हैज बट आई आई ऑल्सो ऑनेस्टली फील दैट मुझे मैं एक्टिवली कोई अपनी वॉइस डिवेलप करना भी नहीं चाहता आई वॉन्ट टू बी एसेंशली इन सर्विस ऑफ द फिल्म तो जो फिल्म होती है मेरा अटैम्प्ट ये रहता है दैट द फिल्म शुड टेक ओवर एंड बिकम वॉट इट वॉन्ट्स टू बिकम सो आई थिंक इन दैट सेंस आई एम ट्राइंग टू फिट इन डॉक्यूमेंट्री समवेयर माई अटैम्प्ट इज टू मेक इट अ लाइव इन अफ सो दैट इट टू मी इट फील्स लाइक अ डॉक्यूमेंट्री इट डजेंट फील लाइक अब आओ मैं तुम्हें बताता हूँ मैंने एक नई फिल्म सोची है लिखी है चलो अब मैं तुम्हें दिखाता हूँ फिल्में कैसे देखते हैं अब मेरी कोई बहुत बड़ी बनाई हुई चीज़ है आई थिंक आई एम रियली क्यूरियस अबाउट एंड वॉन्ट टू एक्टिवली एंगेज इन द एक्ट एवरी डे एंड द मोर यू आर पिकिंग अप एंड क्रिएटिंग सिचुएशन फॉर योर सेल्फ वे यू आर पिकिंग अप स्टफ रादर दैन एनफोर्सिंग इट आई थिंक दैट्स मच मोर इंटरेस्टिंग सो I hope I don't have a voice. Which are some of your favorite like uh, uh, works of Van Herzog? <sighs> uh, too many to say, but uh, I'm bad with names also. Ab but... aise explain karo me ko shayad pata. The the film where he takes the boat up the hill. Fitzgeraldo. Fitzgeraldo. That's one film that I really love. उसकी डॉक्यूमेंट्री भी बर्डन आई मीन डॉक्यूमेंट्रीज तो है ही नहीं नहीं फिट्स गराल्डो की डॉक्यूमेंट्री हां द मेकिंग ऑफ बर्डन ऑफ ड्रीम या दैट फॉर श्योर देन द डॉक विद द बेयर ग्रिजली बेयर ग्रिजली बेयर दैट इज अनदर फेवरेट बट विद हर्जोग लाइक ही इज वन ऑफ द मेजर इंस्पिरेशन सो देयर आर टू मेनी एंड देयर इज सो मच टू लर्न फ्रॉम हिज फिलॉसफी इन जनरल आल्सो या about film making have you read his uh, the the book that he has yes, written yes yes yeah. yes just me conversation hai with someone like wo moti si ek ko iski hai yeah i was fascinated uh, by that book i read it 3 4 times and usme ek bahut achhi line hai jo mere ko kabhi kabhi jab main kuch banata hu jo bother karti hu usne kaha agar tumhe ye game jeetna hai na so you need to get okay with the idea of indifference let's say if you make something and everyone is indifferent about it कि यू नीड टू लिव विद दैट कि मोस्टली दे वोंट केयर राइट अभी जैसे आई वाज डूइंग एन एपिसोड विद जेम्स आर वे ही आल्सो टोल्ड मी कि ही हैज क्विट फिल्म मेकिंग जेवियर डोलन उन्होंने कुछ लिखा था और उन्होंने बोला था कि आज के एंड में मैं कोई अच्छी पिक्चर बनाऊं भी तो ज्यादा लोगों को फर्क पड़ेगा नहीं बिकॉज एक तो लोग देख नहीं रहे हैं फिल्म इतनी तो एंड अमंग ऑल दी अदर रीजन दैट वाज आल्सो वन या सो व्हाट डू यू थिंक ऑफ इनडिफरेंस कि इफ यू मेक समथिंग एंड एवरीवन इज इनडिफरेंट अबाउट इट हाउ डू यू टेक इट I think I'm genuinely okay with indifference as long as I feel like mm-hmm. I have space to be able to create what I want. I think मैंने अब तीन फिल्में बना ली हैं तितली आगरा डिस्पैच आई डोंट थिंक आइदर ऑफ द थ्री फिल्म वेन आई स्टार्ट मेकिंग आई हैव थाट अबाउट इनको कौन देखेगा आई डोंट थिंक यू कैन फंक्शन आउट ऑफ देयर और एटलीस्ट आई कॉन्ट फंक्शन आउट ऑफ देयर Uh, तो मेरे लिए सक्सेस ये है कि अगर आपने अपनी फिल्म बनाई और वो पांच लोगों को भी मूव कर पाई या इट इज एबल टू सो आई यूज अनादर एग्जांपल फॉर माई सेल्फ विच इज दैट व्हेन यू आर मेकिंग अ फिल्म द अटेम्प्ट इज टू थ्रो अ स्टोन स्पेसिफिकली एट अ स्पेसिफिक प्लेस इन द लेक सो दैट इट क्रिएट स्पेसिफिक रिपल्स so you have to have enough focus not just to begin with with yourself and then with your whole crew to know what is the place we are dropping the stone at because that's where the ripples will come out of and the ripples will become their own selves you can't control the ripples so aapka kaam bas ye ki aapko sabko milke patthar wahan pe maarna hai right so i feel like as long as even five people are able to watch a film and be able to throw the place the the stone at the same place you're successful 
because the, the, the ripples that that throw will create will be their own ripples. But the specificity of the center will create very similar emotions. And if it is able to, the act of throwing that stone for themselves and feeling those ripples is able to move something within them. Even five people or one person, panch bhi kyun. Agar ek bande ke saath bhi wo ho jata hai, then you've done your job. Meko na, matla, hamesha se jab bhi log ye explanation deta, thoda sa, if I may, wo kind of wo BS wali cheez lagti hai ki, yaar, aap itte bade film ek kora, aur agar aap bol rao ki, ek jane ko bhi farak bade. I don't think it works like that, because I don't think you'll be okay if your work only moves one person. Andes a mentality wo ho sakti hai, but it won't be sustainable or like hum kar nahi payenge itne sare film students honge jinki short films se shayad koi ek jana move ho gaya but but then what's the problem sustainable dik sustainability kyun chahiye why do i need to be sustainable matlab agar sustainable hona tha to fir to mujhe 2016 mein ek picture banani chahiye thi 2018 mein 2020 mein 22 mein fir to main sustainable filmmaker hona but sustainable hona kyun zaruri hai okay No, it's a question. I'm asking. Why is it important to be sustainable? Then, man, lo, agar main ek cheez banata hu, jisko ek jane ne ek jane ko usne move kar diya, ki I get a message from someone unknown ki move ho gaya. But uh, sustainability is important because you made Agra after Tithli, and you want you have more stories to tell, and you kind of paved the way for yourself ki you can tell stories jaise aap chahte ho. Aapne apna ek brand banaya. वहाँ पे ब्रांड आ जाता है वहाँ पे सस्टेनेबिलिटी आ जाती है कि अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर गिविंग शिट अबाउट समथिंग तो यू आर एन एक्सेप्शन नाउ यू आर अमंग दोज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव पीपल नाउ कि हु कैन गो टू अ प्लेटफॉर्म एंड से कि यार मैंने ये बनाया है और अब मेरे को नेक्स्ट पिक्चर दे दो आपका ब्रांड बन गया ना सस्टेनेबिलिटी ब्रिंग्स इन द ब्रांड आपको लगता है ना बाहर से अंदर से क्या है वो <laughs> वो वो तो बहुत अलग कहानी है कोई ब्रांडिंग नहीं है I don't think I've actively created any brand or thought about actively creating create a brand. Actively, not created. I am hundred percent sure. No, but let's come back to. I think we are digressing. Let's come back to sustainability. You were saying that the thought of one person, if it changes from your films, that is not enough. Because you have to be sustainable. Yes, but I think that because 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 Absolutely. But do you need that one person? I hope for that one person. Uh-huh. That one person doesn't need to be here in my lifetime. Okay. That oh. one person can pop up any time, anywhere. So I have some sort of deep faith that that one person will, because वो faith कहाँ से आता है यार? तुमने कोई चीज experience करी है, इतनी strongly experience करी है. अगर तो तुम में इतना ego है, ये सोच के और तुम अपने आप को इस pedestal पे रखते हो, ये बोल के कि ये मैंने ही experience किया है. Unique experience है. तब तो बात अलग है बट यू आर अूमन बींग यू आर पार्ट ऑफ अ मच लार्जर व्हील यू आर जस्ट वन स्पोक इन इट देर आर बी पीपल दैट कम बिफोर यू दैट आर कम आफ्टर यू सो देर इज अ डीप सीटेड फेथ कि अगर आपको कुछ फील हुआ है आपने कुछ एक्सपीरियंस किया है तो वो एक्सपीरियंस एक लार्जर एक्सपीरियंस से जुड़ा है कहीं ना कहीं किसी ने किया होगा कहीं ना कहीं कोई करेगा तो वो एक बंदे का होप मेरे को है जेनुनली है कि वो एक बंदा कहीं है अगर मैंने फील किया है तो मेरे जैसा एक और बंदा कहीं है बट यू आर नॉट एक्टिवली सीकिंग फॉर दैट वन पर्सन वैलिडेशन और वन पर्सन की हाँ इट मूव मी कि जब पिक्चर खत्म होती है तो यू आर नॉट सीकिंग दैट पर्सन आई मीन द नाउ द क्वेश्चन ऑफ वैलिडेशन इज अ वेरी ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन बिकॉज आई फील लाइक वैलिडेशन वर्ड थोड़ा सा ज्यादा बास्टडाइज कर देता है उस इमोशन को आई आई डोंट थिंक यू आर लुकिंग फॉर वैलिडेशन एज मच एज You're looking for affirmation. Interesting. Fair enough. ठीक है. You're looking for some sort of an affirmation. You're looking for some sort of a connection, because the moment someone is choosing to do something, let's call it a profession. Because I, I actually I don't think I'm quite a professional, but ठीक है. For for argument's sake, mm-hmm. let's say I'm a, because I don't do anything else apart from filmmaking. Huh. Let's call me a professional. Okay. So the moment you choose any sort of art form as a professional like any other person jo 9 se 5 kaam karta hai aur jab wo 5:30 ghar jaane lagta hai usko acha lagta hai agar usko bola jaye bhai aaj tune kuch interesting kiya acha kiya jo contribute kar raha hai hum jo kar rahe hain so you like that affirmation you like because also 
creative people are are essentially people who like to connect with other people so i think you need that affirmation ha uh, tum sahi raste pe ho Yeah. maybe that yeah yeah this is this i agree with you need a hand to be held and said yeah. yeah you know what you felt i felt it yeah. i felt it exactly like this fuck but i couldn't i either i couldn't articulate it or i didn't know i had felt it like oh. this and this is what that feeling meant oh. oh damn but i had felt this so you are able to connect in a very affirmative way with another person which is very fulfilling for yes. me it's very fulfilling So the affirmation of it is the fulfilling part. Absolutely, yeah. but I still want to come back to what you said, which is only one person. No, and and sustainability. And sustainability. The question of sustainability. So, why is sustainability so important? I mean, uh, because a lot of people, maybe I, sh- I'm sure you have your own struggles and battles going on to make these films and stuff. सस्टेनेबिलिटी इसलिए जरूरी है कि मेरे को लगता है हर बंदा जो इस रूम में बैठा है फिल्म मेकर बनना चाहता है एंड दे वॉन्ट कि जैसे आप कह रहे हो मैं इसके अलावा कुछ नहीं करता तो कि बस घर चलता रहे कि आई सो दैट आई कैन थिंक अबाउट स्टोरीज इन जनरल आई डोंट वॉन्ट सस्टेनेबिलिटी इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर हमको कुछ हम कुछ बनना चाहते हैं सस्टेनेबिलिटी इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर लाइक कॉन्टीन्यूसली टेलिंग स्टोरीज फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ बट वाई इज इट इम्पॉर्टेंट टू कंटिन्यूसली टेल स्टोरीज You should only be telling a story when there is a story that needs to be told. So, अगर मान लो दो साल में आपको कोई नई story ऐसी मिल रही है which is worth telling, तब भी आप दो साल बाद बनाने लग जाओगे. But मान लो कि if we talk about you, you might have the luxury कि आपको वो will you do a nine to five job? अगर आप absolutely. What are you saying? Absolutely. Yeah. अगर आपके पास पांच साल तक story नहीं आ रही तो आप कह रहे हो कि आप job ले लो. Yeah. If I'm not able to sustain myself, I should be doing that. मतलब स्टोरीज ने आपका क्या बिगाड़ा है यार कि आप कुछ भी पकड़ के बनाने लग जाओ अगर आपके पास दो साल में स्टोरी नहीं आती तो वो बिचारी स्टोरी की क्या गलती है जिस, जिसने आपको नहीं पकड़ा पर आपने उसे पकड़ लिया यार मेरे पास कुछ नहीं है तू आजा चल तुझे बनाते हैं इट्स टेरिबली अनफेयर टू द स्टोरी दैट यू आर टेलिंग बिकॉज इट हैज नॉट कॉल्ड यू यू हैव नो कनेक्शन विद इट बट यू वॉन्ट टू बी सस्टेनेबल सो सस्टेनेबिलिटी फॉर मी इज एट द एंड ऑफ द डे डीपली कनेक्टेड टू योर ओन पर्सनल नीड फॉर पार इंटरेस्टिंग आपको पार चाहिए इतना इनफ पार चाहिए कि आप सिक्योर हो जाओ और आपका करियर सेट हो जाए एज अ फिल्म बट आई एम डैम श्योर कि अगर तू सौ में से सौ फिल्म मेकर को पूछेगा टू टॉक अबाउट डे वन वेन दे डिसाइडेड आई वॉन्ट टू मेक फिल्म दे वर नॉट थिंकिंग ऑफ अ करियर दे वर जस्ट थिंकिंग अबाउट यार कोई मुझे प्लीज एक कहानी बोलने को दे दे करेक्ट मेरे पास ये कहानी है ये चीज मैंने एक्सपीरियंस करी है मुझे कोई प्लीज मौका दे दे ये करने का दे वर नॉट थिंकिंग अबाउट मेकिंग टेन फिल्म्स दिस थॉट एंटर्स लेटर आपने एक बना ली आपको वैलिडेशन मिल गया नाउ आई टॉक अबाउट वैलिडेशन आपको वैलिडेशन मिल गया अब आपको लगता है यार अच्छा ये तो सही जा रहा है बनानी चाहिए एक और करके देखता हूं दिस इज वॉट आई कॉल जर्नी मैन फिल्म मेकिंग यू नो दैट यूर अ जर्नी मैन फिल्म मेकर एंड देर and there's nothing wrong with it there have been many journeyman filmmakers i me ko analogy matlab journeyman filmmaker is matlab jo film ek film mein banata ja raha hai banane ke liye zar uske liye ye important nahi hai ki uska personal connection kya hai wo bolta hai ha main dhoond lunga personal connection or the simplest way to do, uh, say this is let's say how tarantino describes uh, fincher <laughs> you know so tarantino is kind of condescending when when he describes fincher because he says हाँ यार अगर स्क्रिप्टें मेरे पास आ रही होती तो मैं भी अब तक 25 बना चुका होता और उसको है कि मेरे को तो 10 ही बना पर मैं तो बैठ के लिख रहा हूँ ना बट ईच स्टोरी यू माइट नॉट फील माय कनेक्शन बट ईच स्टोरी इज कनेक्टेड टू मी इन सम वे और इट हैज यू माइट डिबेट दैट कनेक्शन विद टैरेंटिनो फिल्म ऑल्सो बट देर इज अ डिफरेंस इन स्टाइल ऑफ लुकिंग एट सिनेमा राइट सो ऑफ इंचर कैन लुक एट फिल्म रियली डिफरेंटली इन द सेंस दैट ही माइट लुक एट इट मोर एज अ as an act of repetition uh-huh. you know and then there can be someone like tarantino who might take their time so now abhi sab mein ye jo question of sustainability hai wo ambiguous hai bahut sustainability idhar se bhi aa sakti hai udhar se bhi aa sakti hai ya nahi bhi aa sakti hai there is someone like apna ye bhi to hai na jo jisne wo banayi thi tree of life terence malik terence malik mm-hmm. there is terence malik also would you call terence malik a filmmaker who has a sustainable career or had a sustainable career for a long time 
He hasn't had a sustainable career. I mean, he's he's made films after really long gaps. You know, he's not look. But are you saying he was doing something apart from filmmaking also? Maybe I don't know. We don't know. I don't know unless you know. But uh, but I don't know. But the fact is, he's not itching to do a film every two years, three years. He's not worried about the sustainability of himself as a filmmaker. वो एक कुछ कर रहा है वो कर रहा है अभी वो कर रहा है वो जब करेगा जब हो जाएगा तो बता दूँगा kind kind of thing you know. So there's that approach also. But uh, aside from fanboying over Tarantino or Fincher or 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 Terence Malick. I'm just saying, let's break down this thing of sustainability that we are talking about. Why is it so important to be sustainable? Let's come down to brass tacks. It is for your own personal power. Because if you are sustainably working, if you are producing a film every two years, and you are coming out, then you are in the market. People know that you are a filmmaker. Yes. 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 बट उसका फिल्म मेकिंग से कोई लेना देना नहीं सो लेट्स नॉट कन्फ्यू लेट्स नॉट कन्फ्यूज द टू मेरे को एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट चीज पूछने यहाँ पे इट्स इन माय हेड एवर सिंस यू सेड इट कि स्टोरीज आर नॉट चेजिंग यू यू आर चेजिंग स्टोरीज आप उनके पास जा रहे हो आपको बुला नहीं रही सो इन दैट रिगार्ड डू यू हैव अ प्रॉब्लम विद एनी राइटर जो सुबह नौ बजे उठ के अपने लैपटॉप या टाइप राइटर पर बैठता है ओके आई नीड टू राइट टू एज अ डिसिप्लिन हु आर राइटिंग एवरी उनको आगे से कोई नहीं बुला रहा कि तू ये बोल वगैरह बट हुआ एज अ प्रैक्टिस जो कहते हैं राइट एवरी डे बट आपके अकॉर्डिंग तो यार जब मैं कुछ बुला ही नहीं रहा तो तुम क्या बोलने की कोशिश कर रहे हो बट वॉट इफ आई सेट एवरी डे लुकिंग फॉर आइडियाज और स्टोरीज सो आई है काउंटर क्वेश्चन टू दिस हाँ हाउ मेनी स्क्रिप्ट डू यू थिंक आई रिटर्न एंड हाउ मेनी फिल्म अभी क्या अगर मैं सिर्फ इफ दिस वॉज दी ओनली कॉन्टेक्सट आई हैड To this con- मैं 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 इससे पहले मेरे को आपके बारे में कुछ नहीं होता था तो मैं बोलता कि आपने थ्री स्क्रिप्ट लिखी और थ्री बनी है बट आई नो लाइफ डजेंट वर्क लाइक दैट तो ये you. ये सच नहीं और और जरूरी नहीं है कि आपने कोई फिल्म लिखी और वो इसलिए नहीं बनी क्योंकि कोई मिला नहीं उसे बनाने वाला कई बार आप बहुत कुछ लिखते हो और आप खुद डिसाइड करते हो कि आप नहीं बनाओगे है ना आई आई नो लॉर्ड ऑफ राइटर्स हु रिटर्न स्क्रिप्ट गॉन टू मे बी अफ ड्राफ्ट सिक्स ड्राफ्ट स्टेज एंड सेट Ah uh, no, you know, maybe let's work on something else. And this is again connected to the question of sustainability. कि आप किस point पे जाके ये decide करते हो कि जिस चीज में मैं अपना time invest कर रहा हूँ उस अगर मैंने ये पांच draft लिख लिए तो अब ये बनना ही पड़ेगा. ज़रूरी नहीं है कि आपको बनाना है उसको. If you're not finding what you set out to find, so again I will take you back to the central question of. Why do you want to become a filmmaker? What is your connection to filmmaking? What is your love? What was your original love? First love? You know, I will again go back to that moment where I said, "Aap saw filmmakers in Shahar me hai, puch loan se ki pehla moment jab unhone bola tha ki mujhe film banani hai, wo kahan se aaya tha?" So, what is your first love? Your first love is that you know I have this story that. A, I badly need to tell, and B, more importantly, badly needs to be told. Got it. At this moment, in this particular time, in this particular space, it needs to be told now, and that is your reason to make a film. Mm. Your reason to make a film cannot be anything else. So, इस हिसाब से I envy the people who can sit at uh, uh, at the laptop 9 a.m. every day because it's brilliant. It's a brilliant practice. But that doesn't mean कि अगर आप इतना लिख रहे हो जरूरी नहीं है आप उन लोगों से भी बात करो जो रोज नौ बजे उठ के लिखते हैं एंड आई नो पर्सनली वन ऑफ माई वेरी गुड फ्रेंड शरद शरद कटारिया इज अ पर्सन एग्जैक्टली लाइक दैट यू नो एंड आई वर्क वेरी क्लोजली विद हिम फॉर टू ईयर्स एंड ही इज एग्जैक्टली लाइक दैट कि वो उठ के डिसिप्लिन से लिखता है बट जरूरी नहीं है वो जो सब लिखता है वो बाहर आता है एंड दैट दैट इज नॉट टू से दैट ही डजेंट हैव द चॉइस ही कैन राइट एंड ही कैन से नो दिस इज नॉट वर्किंग I'll move on to something else. But you don't write every day. I have spurts of you know I I I function between the two. There there can be like a year when I'm not doing it. There can be a year where I am very disciplined. Hmm. So off late I would say I haven't done it because in the last two three years also I have been doing two films together. You know I've been in post production on Agra and Dispatch and oh. that has been a lot to handle for me. So. Yeah, off late I haven't done it, but there is there are specific times where I will get into like I'll probably get into that mode now. 
just now because dispatch has just finished for me. So I'll probably get into that mode where I'm sitting down trying to figure. Also, the, the act of writing is basically aap kya likh rahe ho? I, when, when you're writing, are you, is it, is, are you directly getting into a place where, okay, now I want to write or are you, the way I do it is I, I usually first talk to myself, <laughs> you know, so my first few pages of writing are more thought. Of what I, it's it's an attempt to connect mm. to some sort of unconscious and see stream of consciousness me kya nikal raha hai. you know from there you're plugging into specific thoughts or sometimes the inspiration can be external also I'm not saying it happens all the time so to answer your question I think it's a I have nothing against it in fact I think it's a brilliant exercise but it should not be driven towards output it cannot be driven towards ab no baje se teen baje jo maine likha hai ye sona hai ye bikna hi chahiye haan wo nahi hai na मेरे को एक और यहाँ पे लेट्स गो अ लिटिल डीपर इन टू दिस बिकॉज आपने कहा कि डू यू हैव अ स्टोरी टू टेल या वो स्टोरी आपके अंदर से आनी चाहिए ये एक्चुअली सॉरी आई इंटरप्ट यू जस्ट फॉर सेकंड बट ये एक्चुअली मैंने नहीं कहा था दिस इज दिस और कहा है दिस इज आल्सो समथिंग दैट इज अ लिटिल पर्ल दैट आई स्टक बाय बट विच एक्चुअली कम्स फ्रॉम कमल स्वरूप कमल स्वरूप की एक डॉक्यूमेंट्री है जो आई अगेन आई एम बैड विद नेम्स आई फर्गेट द नेम ऑफ द डॉक्यूमेंट्री बट उसका लास्ट शॉट है कि कमल सर इज सिटिंग विद हिज किड्स इन द बैक ऑफ अ टेम्पो एंड हिज डॉटर आसिम दिस क्वेश्चन वेयर शी सेज कि पापा ये स्टोरी हम हम हमारे पास कहाँ से आई एंड ही रिस्पॉन्ड एंड ही सेज कुछ नहीं बेटा सड़क पे गिरी हुई थी उठा ली सो दैट लाइन हैज स्टक विद मी एंड एंड आई वॉज फॉर्चुनेट इनफ टू स्पेंड सिक्स मंथ्स विद कमल सर ही came to uh, SRFTI while I was there and he was our screenplay writing mentor. He did a residency, six month residency at the film school. So I asked him about this moment. I said, sir, he was stuck in my mind. What is that? You know, so in that conversation is when we in that conversation is when we artic- or he articulated for me this thing that you might think that you're telling a story but really stories are all around you and they are waiting to pick up the person who they want to treat as a medium to be told so ye ye sochna chhod do ki tum kahani keh rahe ho the moment you are able i think he was in a sense also talking about control and how much which is related to power and the conversation about you know again we come to the sustainability power control it comes to your ego your need to be in control of your own life and your need to shape your own narrative but again if your original impulse was to have a conversation and if you really just like to talk to people and if you like to communicate with people which all filmmakers all artists in in a way are essentially communicators they are or or soothsayers or or fortune tellers or whatever in their own ways they like to interact with people so if that was your seed need ki aapko baat hi karni thi hai na to baat karne ke liye to aapka hona itna zaruri nahi hai na dusre bande ka hona zyada zaruri hai अगर आपको ही बात करनी है तो आप तो अकेले बैठ के भी बात कर सकते हो बट द मोमेंट यू स्टार्ट टॉकिंग टू अनदर पर्सन देन इट्स इम्पोर्टेंट टू टू हैव अ कॉन्वर्सेशन सो आई डोंट नो इफ आई एम मेकिंग एनी नो इट इज बट लाइक इट इज ब्रिंगिंग अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस इन माय हेड एंड मे को मे को उनके मतलब आई वॉन्ट टू नो योर ओपिनियन ऑफ देम नॉट नेसरली वॉन्ट एन आंसर कि यार इसका क्या आप सोचते हो जैसे आप मेरे को एक बात बताओ कि वॉट इफ जैसे मेरे को पर्सनली लगता है कि वेन आई मेक समथिंग मैंने अभी आजकल आई एम आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन टू माई सेल्फ कि वाई आर यू डूइंग दिस वाई डू यू वॉन्ट टू डायरेक्ट अब मेरे को आई थिंक बहुत सालों के बाद ये चीज़ समझ आई है माई किक इज़ नॉट द स्टोरी माई किक इज़ एन इमेज विच इज टक इन माई हेड माई किक इज वेन आई पुट ऑडियो एंड साउंड टूगेदर मेरी ये किक है तो डज इट मीन फिल्म मेकिंग इज नॉट फॉर मी क्योंकि मैं कहानी उसके अराउंड बना लूँगा बट मेरे दिमाग में एक इमेज टक है कि यार मार्स पे अगर ये चीज़ हो रही हो आई एम ऑल्सो इन टू साई फाई अ लॉट आई एम ऑल्सो इन टू दीज ड्रीम प्लेसेज दैट डो नॉट एग्जिस्ट ठीक है अब मेरे को उस पर कुछ है दो चीज़ों को मिला के दिखाना है दे डोंट एग्जिस्ट देर इज नो रियालिटी अराउंड इट सो वॉट अबाउट इट कि इफ माई इनहेरेंट मोटिवेशन टू बी अ फिल्म मेकर इज टू गेट अ इमेज इन माई हेड विच माइट नॉट इवन एग्जिस्ट टू स्क्रीन सो इज दट अ बैड मोटिवेशन टू बी अ फिल्म मेकर not at all i mean somehow i don't know why but it's probably not directly related but when you were saying this i thought about chris marker 
I don't know Chris Marker. Really Chris Marker uh, is one of the most influential uh, documentary filmmakers on, on, on the planet. Uh, he made Hiroshima Mon Amour. Ah, now I know. Yeah. Okay. So, so Chris Marker sort of functioned with images, ah. putting images and sound yes. together. Yes. So not at all. I mean, mm. your <clears throat> listen, you're in into into it can be whatever you want can yeah. come from whatever we want i think the 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 basic universal truth that we have to remember is that hum log ek larger context ka hissa hain aur hamari feelings are universal hai to aap jo bhi create karoge wo unknown bhi agar hai ah. wo uska spiritual truth hum sab ke andar already hai to there is an underlying connection because this creation is coming from you and you yourself are part of a much larger conversation yes your conversation that's happening right now was started probably by your grandfather or you know since images pass on from mm. like they skip one generation so maybe that conversation was started by your grandfather and for him it was started by his grandmother or his mother or whoever so there is a larger conversation happening and and again that's that's why i say we go back to plugging into the unconscious आप अनकॉन्शियसली तो कुछ स्ट्रक्चरल मिथ्स में प्लग इन कर ही रहे हो द अक्वायर्ड स्किल विच आई डोंट थिंक इज नेसेसरली जस्ट अक्वायर्ड बाय रेपिटेशन आई डोंट बिलीव इन दैट मुझे नहीं लगता कि आप बार बार कर रहे हो तो आपको आ ही जाएगा या फ्रीक्वेंसी से कर रहे हो एंड हेंस सॉरी आई एम कनेक्टिंग इट बैक अगेन टू सस्टेनेबिलिटी एंड यू नो मुझे नहीं लगता कि रेपिटेशन इज द ओनली वे टू फाइंड दैट बट एज लॉन्ग एज यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन लर्निंग द craft of breaking down stuff for yourself to be able to create that meta repetition at will whenever you want to do it that's the key that's the key uh, uh, aap jab bhi karo aapko pata hai ye method aapko uh, individual thought se meta structural myth level let's say thought pe कैसे लेके जाएगा अगर आपको वो सीढ़ी चढ़नी आती है हाँ। तो आप कभी भी करोगे आपको आज और इन पॉइंट आपका कुछ भी हो सकता है इन पॉइंट आपका कुछ भी हो सकता है अब जॉन मार्क वैले अभी ही पास डे सैडली कुछ आ, साल पहले वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट फिल्म मेकर उन्होंने तो बोला था मैं तो पहले म्यूजिक ढूंढता हूँ मेरे को उसके ऊपर पिक्चर बनाने और मैं पहले मैं भी ऐसे ही था मेरे को लगा मे बी एम नॉट इवॉल्व इनफ एज अ ह्यूमन बींग कि यार फक मेरे को स्टोरी पहले नहीं आती मेरे दिमाग में कहानी पहले नहीं आती एंड दैट्स वाई इट्स अ कॉन्स्टेंट क्वेश्चन आई आस्क ऑल माई गेस्ट does the story come to you first does the character come to you first or the, does the landscape come to you first this is also a question i have for you so usually what happens is that architecture will come first an architecture but i don't mean like physical space uh, you you will see probably i will see probably five or six people together uh, at one time i'll know okay this is what i'm probably trying to say and through it this is what i'm feeling and this is what i think i'm trying to say but then i will focus on one person and the moment i focus on that one person and you start exploring that person everything starts to change because you're getting to know them better and the moment you zoom out and zoom into another person wow. everything changes again wow and then once you know all these let's say there are six people so you you have an image to begin with of six people standing wow. together then you have a close up of each of those six people then i am giving a very bad example but once you've dealt with all these close ups then you have a top shot of of way and in that top shot you see where these people are standing because front on they can feel like they're all you know what i mean yeah, like, uh, there can be that optical illusion of where okay this is where they are but as soon as you go to a top shot then everything changes again and i think that is the biggest change i think everything that leads up to the top shot is your process of finding out what is it that you're really trying to say for me again personally that's that's how it works for me the moment you go to the top shot you top shot you truly understand what you're trying to say because then you see where these people are situated and that's when you have the first idea of acha this is what i'm trying to say and then things change again because then you start to investigate why am i trying to say this i found what i'm trying to say now now i know for a reasonable surety emotional surety spiritual surety ki ha acha mujhe lag raha tha main ye bolna cha raha hu but actually main ye bolna cha raha hu but ab mujhe ab 
मैं ये क्यों बोलना चाह रहा हूँ और ये क्यों बोला जाना चाहिए उससे भी बड़ा सवाल कि यू नो ये बोलने की जरूरत क्या है इसमें मैं ऐसा क्या नया बोल रहा हूँ कि बोला जाना चाहिए जरूरी है क्या बोलना शुड देर बी अनदर फिल्म आउट देर दैट इज सेंग दिस इफ माई आंसर इज नो देन आई ड्रॉप इट और हो सकती है पांचवें ड्राफ्ट पे आपको टॉप शॉट देख के समझ आए The length of it can be, it be can't be like in a day or two. But हाँ, हाँ, मैं ये बोलूंगा कि अगर आपको ये ये प्रोसेस क्लैरिटी है तो वो पांचवें ड्राफ्ट पे जाके होता नहीं है बिकॉज आप आप ये प्रोसेस करने के लिए आपको बहुत सारा कंट्रोल सीड करना आना चाहिए यू आर नॉट इन कंट्रोल द मोमेंट यू एम वॉक ऑन दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ प्रोसेस तो बाय द टाइम यू रीच द फिफ्थ ड्राफ्ट ऑन अ प्रोसेस लाइक दिस ऐसा हो नहीं सकता बहुत रेयर केसेस में होगा लेट्स से टेन फिफ्टीन परसेंट केसेज में होगा कि यू गो लाइक नो बट मे बी दिस इज नॉट लीडिंग एनी वेयर वेयर इट विल मेक अ डिफरेंस टू माई लाइफ और एनी वन एल्स इज लाइफ बट मोस्ट ऑफ वन एटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम प्रॉब्लम नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम इट विल शेप इट सेल्फ इन अ वे वेयर इट विल कम आउट टू यू लाइक अ कॉइल्ड स्नेक एंड एंड यू विल बी लाइक ओ ओके दिस इज नॉट वॉट इफ वी इफ इट्स ट्राइंग टू गो ह्योर देन मैन दिस स्पेस इज You know, unexplored, and this is interesting. What we are finding. So, वो वो process का inbuilt ही एक texture है, उसका अपना एक मजा है कि वो कम होता है ऐसा. और but मान लो अगर हम यहाँ पे David Fincher वाली journey में जाते हैं कि आपको आपका Sorkin मिल गया और आपके पास must एक ten on ten script आती है. So, would you as a director? Because I'm very fascinated to see कि would you ever direct something which is completely written by someone else? Or an ad. I don't know if you have directed ads or music videos. Jahan pe, it's not your baby to begin with. So, or does it not kind of make you happy at all? Ki nahi yar, this is not something I am into. Not at all. It's my dream to find someone whose material I can work on. Why not? I would love to do that. But wahan pe, fir wo top shot aur wo sari cheeze nahi hui na ki mai matlab ki origin nahi hue ideas ke wagera. To wo journey ka alag hua thoda sa. हाँ एब्सोल्युटली अलग होगा बट अगर आपके पास ऐसा मटेरियल है जिस पे किसी और ने हार्ड यार्ड्स किए हैं और हाँ। जरूरी नहीं है यही प्रोसेस किया हो बट कुछ और प्रोसेस किया है जिससे आपको वो उतना ही सच्चा लगता है जितना सच्चा आप काम करना चाहते हो तो क्यों नहीं बट वो उतनी सच्चाई के, के लिए यू नीड टू आई थिंक रियली लुक अराउंड टॉर्च वो थोड़ा घूमना पड़ेगा बॉम्बे में तो बट कमिंग बैक टू रिकमेंडेशन मैंने लाइक इंटरेस्टिंगली दो फिल्म मेकर्स के नाम लिए नाइक गॉट टू नो यू बोथ लाइक बोथ ऑफ देम अलेंच हर्जॉग हर्जॉग यू हैड टेकन द नेम बट इसके अलावा हु आर दी अदर फिल्म मेकर्स दैट यू लुक अपू बोथ इन इंडिया आउट साइड ऑफ इंडिया क्यूब्रिक केरोस्तामी केजलास्की स्टीव मक्वीन जाकौदिया I don't know on this name. Zakaria the b- b- Un Prophet Rustin Bone he just made a film called Les Olympiad or Le Olympiad whatever whatever you want to call it. Uh but yeah he has an amazing hmm. filmography just amazing. So Zakaria amongst the contemporaries I really look up to Zakaria some of Steve McQueen Shame and Crazy uh, 12 Years a Slave Hunger Yeah, for me, hunger and shame more than than twelve years hundred percent. Hunger slave. Hunger has that one big uh, one shot take of Michael Fassbender, no? Yeah. yeah. Then PTA. I absolutely love the master. It's my favorite film of 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 his. There will be blood. I mean, every PTA. What film. What do you think of Punch Drunk Love? <laughs> Can you please teach me how to appreciate Punch Drunk Love? <laughs> अच्छा ऐसा है क्या बिल्कुल <laughs> मैंने जब देखी थी आई थिंक तब मेरा इतना वो नहीं आता नहीं था सो पंच ट्रंक लव वॉज इन मेनी वेज आई वुड से एन अर्ली स्पिरिचुअल रेफरेंस फॉर आगरा इट्स नथिंग लाइक आगरा इट्स नथिंग एट ऑल लाइक इट इज इट इज दे आर पोल्स अ पार्ट दैट वॉज माई इंट्रोडक्शन टू पी टी एंड आई वॉज क्वाइट स्टंट वेन आई सॉ दैट फिल्म बिकॉज I think the fascinating thing about Panchra Club is na ki it has that space within it for you to make the film your own. Jo mere ko I think it was one of the first times I was exposed to a contemporary filmmaker doing that. Uh, I'm sure there were many other filmmakers meri limited knowledge thi but Panchra Club jab maine pehli baar dekhi I was slammed for quite a few days. because uh, 
यू कुन ग्रैब एडम सैंडलर्स कॉलर एंड से ये ये है और यू कुन ग्रैब फीमेल लीड आई आई फर गेट अम हर कॉलर एंड से एनी ऑफ द पीपल इन द फिल्म यू कुन क्वाइट uh you know be them they were their own things yeah. they were their own selves yeah. which i found absolutely fascinating you can have that much space ki aap mujhe naye logon se milwa sakte ho aur milwa ke mujhe itna curious kar sakte ho unke bare mein ki main dekhta ja raha hu bas dekhta ja raha hu to wo that i really love about the film chote chote jo uske scenes hai na like even the smallest scene of where he standing at that phone booth making a call and it's also adam sandler you saw like that for the first time uh, i had not seen adam sandler like that at all ever adam sandler ko like fascination matlab pehle mere ko lagta tha ki kya banda hai and then when wo punch drunk love mein fir mere ko laga wo ki maine galat hi interpret kiya tha then i saw uncut gems and i'm like ki i was wrong about <laughs> adam sandler all my life <laughs> how do you mean matlab ki you think of him like as a actor that is not meant to be taken that seriously seriously he is doing that like easy rom coms karta hai but wo shayad alag hi level pe operate karta hai i don't know wo mere ko punch drunk love uncut gems dekh ke lagta hai ki mera perception uska to bahut acha corollary ek hamara indian cinema mein bhi hai na that is govinda ah you see some of govinda's dramatic work ah. and my god the ability that he has yeah. to take you to places is unrivaled and it surprises you with the other non dramatic work that he has done where have you felt it the most the dramatic work jahan pe aap the one film that i remember very uh, uh viscerally is hatya and like agar aapko ye jaise uh, hua the other actors in indian landscape jahan pe aapne ye ek range dekhi ho the range of an actor I personally, I think all the big eighty stars had so much range. Yeah, like if you look at Anil Kapoor, if you look at Jackie Shroff, they are really good actors. Yeah, you look at uh, Jackie Shroff in that uh, film. क्या थी वो प्रियदर्शन वाली फिल्म where he was a cop. Which one? Gardesh. 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 Sorry, Gardesh. If you look at uh, Gardesh, what a beautiful performance. Not just him, Amrish Puri. What a what a great performance in that film. Uh, मतलब मैं नसीर साहब या ओमपुरी की तो बात ही नहीं कर रहा हूँ जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट अदर सॉर्ट ऑफ मोर पॉपुलर एक्टर्स हु माइट बी मिस इंटरप्रेटेड एज ओनली बींग एबल टू डू अ सर्टन थिंग दे माइट नॉट हैव वॉन्टेड टू डू एनी थिंग डिफरेंट फॉर देयर ब्रांड वैल्यू वी ऑल्सो टॉक्ट अबाउट बींग अ ब्रांड दे माइट हैव चोजन नॉट टू डू सम अदर स्टफ फॉर रीजन आउटसाइड ऑफ रीजन connected to filmmaking but i think that doesn't take away from their uh, the potential that they had if you've seen jackie in a film like uh, called uh, 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 what was that uh, mallu film that he did uh, and all would know i am a little weak in the indian was it tamil tamil film what aranya was kandam. aranya kandam if you see jackie in aranya kandam he is so surprising in that film so i mean all of these guys i i feel had really good actors in them they just a they were not getting material probably and the times were such but obviously uh, the responsibility for every decision at the end of the day lies on your own court so probably they were also not willing to do stuff which was riskier or riskier than the riskier stuff that they were doing but uh, but yeah i i feel like they are they were all interesting actors If I like open up the palette for you and be like you can pick and choose any actor and any actress in the world for your next film, like who would they be? Kya? I'm like, in court direct can. In the world. In the world. Okay. Right now. Yeah. Or they can be dead. They can be. मतलब. अच्छा ऐसा. अच्छा तो फिर और. नहीं फिर एक बार चलो alive रखते हैं. Let's keep the the alive. Alive रखते हैं. I would say I would love to see an walk in Phoenix in a canoe where <laughs> huh. Yeah I was a uh, yeah I was about to say walk in Ha huh. ha uh, but uh, I really like that girl yeah that German actor uh, now I won't know her remember her name she was just in in that jo 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 is saal bhi Cannes mein jeeti hai na film jo courtroom drama wali film hai 
it's a german film it's a very very popular popular art house german film so yeah. her as 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 a i i'll tell you in a bit but for the actors i yeah i mean walking phoenix is a is the boring answer walking <laughs> phoenix is the boring <laughs> but uh, yeah cuz i didn't really like what he did with joker so that's ah uh, you didn't like no tell us about this kyu 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 bahut boring film hai yaar wo mujhe mujhe bahut boring lagi i don't find i didn't find it interesting at all it feels like a referenced film it's trying to be too many other things i i don't think it's a very honest film and that reflects in the performance for me of course how many billions did it make <laughs> i have no idea but then of course we have barbie and oppenheimer so and truth barbie. only goes so far how did you like uh, the other joker heath ledger i love that performance because i think it has an unbridled madness and i think he was able to access some madness within him mm. i only only out of that can you come with that performance i feel mm. but heath ledger i even before joker i really liked what he did with the brokeback uh, with brokeback but actor agar tum puchho you know i i would really uh, like to work with steve carell dude i love steve but again कि आपने एक तरीके से एक इंसान को देखा है दी ऑफिस मैंने देखा देखा है एंड कट टू आई सी फॉक्स कैचर सो आई आई थिंक आई मीन स्टीव करेल एंड वो दी अदर गाय टैटम चेनिंग टैटम मार्क्रफेलो मार्क्रफेलो आई थिंक आई वुड रियली लाइक टू बिकॉज स्टीव करेल आई स्टिल फील हैज अ लॉट अनटैप्ड इन हिम हंड्रेड पर एंड मार्क्रोफेलो इज तो it's there i think he's very aware of who he is yeah. now and it would be just fun to collaborate with someone who is so on top of their game have you seen his mini series i know this much is true it's one of my favorite things ah. in the last 10 years i i mean it's such an amazing performance that i cannot stop raving about it matlab bahut amazing hai wo bahut amazing hai that series only yeah i was mentioning it in some other episode also wahan pe ek funeral ka scene hai where he a kind of has this confrontation with his father i think uh-huh. ki tumhari wajah se my brother is like this yeah matlab someone has died and like wo pura ka pura ek vent karta hai last moment pe it's so true and i think if i'm not wrong i matlab correct me if i'm wrong in comments or something he has also lost someone I think his sibling Mark Ruffalo and also the director, which is Derek Sian Fran. Sian Fran, yeah. हाँ, he has also lost. मतलब वो कुछ उनका siblings का they have had a huge loss in their life. So I that think. that's what I'm saying, na? The spiritual truth of your journey, you can sense. Haan. I didn't. I I so I didn't know this. Haan, yes. And I didn't read this, but I can feel that feeling in 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 what I'm watching. So that's what I mean by you are in a much larger conversation yes. with. what you are making why it's choosing you to get made yeah. it's a much bigger conversation than just being a journeyman filmmaker and saying chalo ab kuch aur banate hain chalo ab kuch aur banate hain talking about journeyman filmmakers and if we can call him a journeyman filmmaker david fincher which is your favorite work of his i want to say zodiac but mm. i think i'm going to take away from zodiac a little bit because it was memories of murder <laughs> but i love the way the zodiac is translated yeah. from memories of murder i think it manages to become a thing of its own yeah. which is very difficult yeah. what is that ben affleck film gone girl gone girl maybe gone girl maybe seven social network is nowhere i, oh. I don't like that film <laughs> it's one of my all time favorites social Achha. network i really really like social network and and jo hum jis cheez ki baat kar rahe hain na because i also love films which are very consciously superficial there is this sofia coppola film it's among my top 3 films of last 25 years it's called somewhere have you seen it nahi yeah. yaar you need to watch I've, it actually it's strange that you mention it because i just 4 days back i came across somewhere for the first i didn't know somewhere existed so it's on my list I just found somewhere I was like are ye to maine dekhi nahi hai so it's something that I've been meaning to watch it's a consciously superficial film ki main dikhati hu superficial kya hota hai matlab wo aisa hai ki LA it's about a life of an actor living in LA and there's a very good richard brody review of it wo jo new yorker ke liye likhte hai i think very good mujhe wohi lagta hai kabhi kabhi when you read these reviews na your 
आपका सोचने का तरीका ही मतलब ऐसे एक्सपैंड हो जाता है और उसकी सेकंड समवेयर पहली फिल्म है ना नो वर्जन सुसाइड इज द फर्स्ट सो समवेयर इज द सेकंड वन समवेयर केम इन 2010 दैट इज आई नो दैट इज आई थिंक आई नो वर्जन सुसाइड जो उससे बहुत पहले आई थी हर डेब्यू वाज वर्जन सुसाइड्स एंड देन सिंस वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट नोस्टैल्जिया हर अदर फिल्म लॉस्ट लॉस्ट इन ट्रांसलेशन व्हेन वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट नोस्टैल्जिया एक्चुअली आई वाज थिंकिंग अबाउट लॉस्ट इन ट्रांसलेशन because that film is it nostalgia done right yeah i mean ah. done right wrong mujhe pata nahi but nostalgia kicked for nostalgia to give you specifically to put you in a space where ah. you are nostalgic and you're feeling what nostalgia is i think lost in translation does it really well sofia coppola in general is very good with that like particular yeah. emotion and there is a interesting thing also when you are playing with that sort of nostalgia is that there is in spite of the specificity of time and space you know films like this have a certain timelessness about them, where they don't they everybody who knows they're working on the film commit to a time and space particular time and space but when you watch the film you feel a timelessness because somewhere you're not able to grab what time it is set in where is it like what specific part of japan am i or what specific part of tokyo am i talking about in in the sense what year i i might talk about so that is very interesting about some of her work mere ko ek cheez bahut fascinate karti hai and i actively look for films like that ki where you don't see mobile phones i don't know like uh, b- badly articulating but jahan pe era might be new and in general pata nahi kyun mere ko lagta hai jab proper proper i pre iphone there is something nostalgia big. वो हम सबको है वो मुझे भी है वो वो नोस्टैल्जी है हमारा दैट इज समथिंग व्हिच फैसिनेट्स मी इन जनरल बट सिंस वी मेंशन आई नो दिस मच इज ट्रू आर देयर एनी टीवी सीरीज और लाइक मिनी सीरीज दैट यू रियली लाइक वी स्पोक अबाउट आई नो दिस मच इज ट्रू दैट एब्सोल्यूट वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट्स आई रियली लव द निक दैट्स वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट फेवरेट थिंग्स फ्रॉम द लास्ट डेकेड The Nick was also recommended by I think Vijay Verma on our channel. Yeah. अच्छा. दोनों ही बहुत unique नाम बोले बताया आपने कि The Nick भी काफी कम लोगों ने देखा होता है ना I don't know if it is properly available on an OTT or. I mean it was it was FX. So now if it's FX it should be on Hotstar. मैंने download करके देखा था मुझे इतना पता है. हाँ हाँ हाँ. But uh, but मुझे ये भी याद है कि FX ने yes. because at that time I wondered कि ये uh, uh, क्या नाम है यार डायरेक्टर का स्टीवन सोडोबर्ग सोडोबर्ग आई आई वंडर्ड को करने किसने दिया एंड देन आई आई वाज लाइक ओके एफएक्स सो यू डोंट नीड नेटफ्लिक्स और अमेजन यू कैन डू योर थिंग एनीवे आर यू इन जनरल प्लानिंग टू मेक अ शो एनी टाइम इन फ्यूचर आई वुड बी हैप्पी टू मेक वन इफ इट्स नॉट कंसीडर्ड टू डार्क दैट्स द ओनली थिंग अदरवाइज यू आर टोटली अप फॉर इट दैट्स द ओनली थिंग मतलब दैट्स दैट्स द थिंग we live in times where we need too much light these days we are, we are afraid of the dark <laughs> <laughs> no but aisa kuch nahi hai ki kuch logo ke wo medium preference hote hain nahi bhai hame film banana hai to jaise ek nolan se kisi ne pucha tha do you believe i will make a show he like no <laughs> so kuch logo ko hai ki hame show banana hi nahi hame to film mein banani hai nahi aisa a- a- uh, mere liye nahi hai and i, and I feel jo log ye bolte bhi hain wo zyada uh, जो मीडियम आपको इन मेनी वेज कंस्ट्रक्ट करता है उसकी वजह से भी बोलते होंगे बिकॉज इवन इफ यू डोंट गो बाय द बजट्स टुडे बिकॉज नाउ व्हाट फ्रॉम व्हाट आई आई हैव नेवर डन अ सीरीज बट फ्रॉम व्हाट आई हियर द बजट्स नाउ आर स्लैश बाय ऑलमोस्ट 25 परसेंट फ्रॉम टू इयर्स बैक सो इवन इफ यू गो टू टू ईयर्स बैक एंड यू हैड द बजट्स दैट वर देयर यू स्टिल एंड अप शूटिंग फाइव पेजेज अ डे विच इज क्वाइट कंस्ट्रिक्टिंग विद द मटीरियल एंड वॉट यू कैन डू विद इट Uh, if when we are shooting a film we used to barely shooting like a page and a half a day like my my scripts are usually 70 70 pages 70 75 max 80 so aap 40 din mein bhi shoot kar rahe ho aap ek ded page din mein shoot kar rahe ho and the amount of time you can spend with actors with prepping with what you want to do in that moment while you're shooting is drastically different when you end up doing a series so i think part of that also i mean you have to really slum it out then yeah. you know I mean, we've read about what you know how Soderbergh made Nick. He shot and edited himself at nights. वो कैमरा तो खुद करता ही है. So 
I mean, I can imagine to do a series like Nick and I know this much is true, you have to really slum it out. To, so that's why the successes are few and far between. Do you do any of the technical stuff yourself? Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, I edit a fair bit. Oh, you edit? Yeah. Uh, did you edit Tithli? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> okay, okay. But in general, you edit like yeah. Yeah, I mean, I like to contribute on oh. the edit where where I can probably sit you down and, and give you the rhythm of the scene or or whatever. But but yes, I I can be at a point where I can play with the edit a fair bit. I think the the Cohen brothers also uh, edit now or what? उनका कुछ है उन्होंने एक एलियस क्रिएट किया हुआ है वगैरह एंड देन दैट एलियस वन द अवार्ड फॉर बेस्ट एडिटिंग कुछ देर इज थिंग कि ऐसा कुछ दे डू दिस थिंग बट दैट तो सोडाबर्ग आल्सो डज ही हैज अनदर नेम फॉर हिमसेल्फ एज एन एडिटर एंड एज अ डीपी इट्स वेरी फैसिनेटिंग या सो आई वांट टू मूव टू द अदर सेगमेंट्स बट इन द रेल्म ऑफ टीवी शोज और मूवीज और एक्टिंग इन जनरल इज देयर एनी अदर नेम यू वुड लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट और रेकमेंड I I mean I just saw Nomadland which I just I thought was beautiful. I saw Holy Spider recently which I really liked. I was completely taken away. It's sort of like a Iranian Fincher kind is the best way to describe the performances in that film. I saw Babylon which I was a torture for the first one and a half hours. Uh, but the next one and a half hours was so rewarding wow. that i was thankful that i sat through the first one and a half wow. hours it rewarded me it opened so many doors for me in the next one and a half hours that i was like i wish people are patient with the film a little bit people give it a i'll watch it now ye maine abhi tak dekhi nahi i i think it's a mad film because there there are two films there in one wow. but what the first a uh, one and a half hour does to you is so important for the next one and a half hour so you can't and i i i can feel this problem personally because there is this problem with agra also that the first one hour is so difficult to watch but the next bit will reward you but it is essential for you to feel what you feel there for what is coming to work in that sense so i i i felt some sort of kinship to babylon in that yeah. sense but that this one and i was going to mention one more film which is uh, the pakistani film uh, joyland joyland ah. i kahan dekhi aa gayi uh, rent rented, pe rent ah, but maine thoda usse pehle hi dekh li thi mere paas link aa gaya tha from one of the producers Very but good. you can rent it now on on amazon it's I'm a dying to watch joyland beautiful film with beautiful performances uh, i really loved so these three four films i've seen recently yeah. that i've that i've enjoyed a lot I was recommend talking about this film which my parents recommended. It's by Anish Chagante. Is that how you pronounce his name? Who made Searching, that desktop movie? It's a great uh, film. Ah, uh, usne abhi ek picture banayi hai with Sarah Paulson called Run. It's on Netflix. Okay. And so, uh, jo ham baat kar rahe ki when the final, the watch it for the reward. Pehle apko lag raha hai ki theek hai, kya chal raha hai wagera. So Run is like that. You haven't seen Searching? It's a desktop movie. It's just made on like. laptop screens mobile screens and uh, it's very very good like uh, i think probably the only few films or maybe the only film i have seen in theater twice and i would highly recommend it searching and it's a indian american like uh, a guy who lives in la it's an indian only anish chaganti uh, where did you see the film was it out in india yeah uh, it's on prime like uh, searching uh, no, but you said you saw it twice in the theater yeah yeah ha Th- india mein bhi tear lagi thi is pe this film hey dad hey sweetheart where are you study group gonna go all night oh one more thing i want to know about the final you so when did it release in india this is release uh, this release ho gaye kuch saal this released in Five years ago, 2018. अच्छा. Have to watch it. It's very good. So इसी बंदे के ना I know he, this guy knows how to do thrillers well. So Ran is uh, a normal uh, normal तो नहीं मतलब. Have you seen Sharp Objects? Sharp Objects is this HBO show जिसमें Amy Adams है and it's made by John Mark Valley, the filmmaker I was mentioning hmm. to you. So you should watch Sharp Objects. So somewhere they are very very dark. Uh, Sharp Objects is also उसकी जो ऑथर है शी हैज ऑल्सो रिटन गॉन गर्ल 
सो उनकी दो किताबें गॉनगल एंड शार्प ऑब्जेक्ट्स सो यू मस्ट चेक आउट शार्प ऑब्जेक्ट्स सो थोड़ा सा वही डार्क स्पेस में द फिल्म रन बट लाइक इट्स वेरी रिवॉर्डिंग इट्स ऑन नेटफ्लिक्स और मैं पेरेंट्स रिकमेंडेड टू मी मैंने कहा कि यार आप अनीश की पिक्चर देखिए तो बहुत स्टड फिल्म मेकर है आई वॉज वेरी इम्प्रेस देखते हैं कल दिस इज ऑन नेटफ्लिक्स इट्स ऑन नेटफ्लिक्स दैट इज वन देखता हूँ लास्ट क्वेश्चन अबाउट फिल्म हाउ डिड यू लाइक बाबी एन ओपन आईमा मूविंग ऑन कूल अब हम बात करते हैं किताबों की सो डू यू हैव एनी बुक रिकमेंडेशन फॉर अस और लाइक द मोस्ट विच आई हैव बीन सम ऑफ द मोस्ट इन्फ्लुएंशियल एंड इम्पैक्टफुल बुक्स इन योर लाइफ हु देर आर टू मेनी टू मैंशन या बट वी कैन स्टार्ट विद लाइक जॉन वाइज लाइक वी कैन स्टार्ट विद फिक्शन फिक्शन अगेन देर आर टू मेनी लेप मी जस्ट I I mean I, yeah. these are not necessarily the favorites, but really books that have stayed with me for 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 a while. They there are many, so I I I'm sure I will probably not yeah. recall the one, uh, and I'll probably recall just after we finish. But uh, but fiction, there's a book. Uh, <clears throat> it's called Leela: An Inquiry into Morals. It's an Indian book. No, this is by the guy. who wrote uh, zen and the art of motorcycle maintenance Ooh. robert m persig wow so it's persig's book after and i haven't read zen and the art yeah. but because i had heard of zen and the art uh-huh. and i was curious curious about persig and i think around the time i got curious i read leela i picked up leela from wherever i was from workshop because i didn't want to go to zen and the art for some reason i i said ye pad ke dekhta hu and i read it when i was again i don't exactly remember but it was around college so i must have been 21 22 ha huh. and that book has stayed with me it's very different from most of the other stuff that i've read what genre would it be in it's heavy on philosophy and and he has his own philosophy his own way of describing the world and it's part coming of age of uh, not a young woman a uh, 26 27 year old woman i think she's about 26 27 and it's part revenge drama against an older man got it obnoxious older man uh-huh. who's not aware that is obnoxious so i i don't know quite how to how to describe the book okay. so that is one of the most interesting books wow. that i've read related to film i would recommend uh uh herzog's book yeah actually Uh, what is it called i think uh, if we are talking about the same book it's this huge uh, in conversation with uh, herzog conversations with herzog ek second main aapko batata hu or is it herzog on herzog one second herzog on herzog oh yes it's herzog on herzog only a guide for the perplexed yes a guide for the perplexed yes 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 i've read this yes yeah. yes yeah ha it's very good the other thing i would recommend around film is uh, anything joseph campbell has written mm. i yeah. i think that is really eye opening because if you are in the right frame of mind to let that book talk to you then it talks a lot about ego and control mm-hmm. which i think is very interesting it can free you up it has the potential to free you up as a, as a as an artist what i'm reading right now is i i'm fine i've still reading it but i'm finding it quite mm-hmm. interesting is uh, there's a book by wendy doniger uh, it's called uh, uh dreams illusions and other realities which is again very interesting because i mean we all we all are aware of jung's work and uh, mm-hmm. apne jung ke papa ji ka kya naam tha modern psychology is based on his freud, freud yes mm-hmm. sorry thanks so freud and jung we all know uh-huh. about but acha jung i using karl yeah wo pranans kyunki wo jung ko tha ड्रीम वर्ल्ड इन द इंडियन कॉन्टेक्स रियली वेल इट अनमास्क एंड Unlays it really well in the Indian context, so that 
I'm finding really interesting uh, as a as a viewpoint on the whole thing. It's not your typical Western viewpoint to to look at things. So, वो मैं आजकल पढ़ रहा हूँ और any biographies or autobiographies that you have liked? I'm not into biographies and autobiographies. Why? Because you know it's very very hard to find a book about someone's life that is not sanitized. वो हेजोग्राफिकल ही होता है मोस्टली इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू फाइंड समवन इवन बायोग्राफीज में भी बायोग्राफीज का तो मेरे को सैनिटाइजेशन ज्यादा लगता है बिकॉज दैट मैं आपको एक अनसैनिटाइज ऑटोबायोग्राफी रिकमेंड करूँ एलिया गजान ऑटोबायोग्राफी इट्स प्रॉबेबली द बेस्ट बुक आई हैव एवर अभी मैं किसी कोई और अभी मैं माइक निकोल्स के ऊपर एक उनकी बायोग्राफी आई है वो भी बहुत अच्छी है आई एम रीडिंग इट स्टीवन स्पीलबर्ग और बहुत लोगों ने वो रिकमेंड करी है Uh, but the most unsanitized book I have ever read in my life is uh, Ilya Gazan's autobiography. He is basically the villain in it, मतलब, and he was 80 years old when he read it, uh, wrote it. तो मरने वाला तो सब सब ही लिख दिया मतलब मैं कि इसे Zoe Gazan उनकी शायद पोती है, तो वो उसने कहा मैं तो पढ़े ही भी नहीं कभी मेरे को पता है उसमें क्या. It's the most unsanitized thing I have ever read in my life. The contradictions of that man, no, जो भी उनकी life में रहे तो कैसे उन्होंने खुद लिखा है उसके बारे में. मतलब वो ये कि आई नो आई टॉक अबाउट इट अ लॉट ऑन द जनरल पीपल माइट बी लाइक कि बस कर भाई तू हर बार बोलता है बट वो ये ना कि समटाइम्स यू सी समथिंग सो गुड लाइक कि यार यू आर लुकिंग फॉर दैट इन एवरीथिंग व्हाट इज व्हाट इज द बुक कॉल्ड अ लाइफ इलिया गजान अ लाइफ माइक निकोल्स की भी बुक का नाम है लाइफ है अ लाइफ माइक निकोल्स अ लाइफ बट इट्स अ बायोग्राफी रिटन बाय मार्क हैरिस उन्होंने सोप्रानोस पे भी एक किताब लिखी थी क्योंकि सोप्रानोस पे डेविड चेस के साथ कन्वर्सेशन so yeah so books may you go so that is one unsanitized thing anything else in regard to books i can move further uh, i mean i can tell you what i'm reading these days i'm also reading uh, this interesting manga called uzumaki i know of this yes 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 so that's what i'm reading i'm usually reading four five things together so yeah. i'm i just finished a uh, john grisham also so i read that also yes. और ये सारी पेपर बैग्स या किंडल पेपर बैग शफलिंग कैसे यार मैं किंडल में नहीं पढ़ पाता आई नीड अ हार्ड हार्ड समथिंग इन माय हैंड नो किंडल एट ऑल फॉर मी आई मीन माय ओनली इंडल्जेंस इज जस्ट टू गेट ऑर्डर अ लॉट ऑफ बुक्स फॉर माय सेल्फ सो दैट्स द दैट्स द वन थिंग दैट आई दैट आई डू सो मूविंग ऑन लेट्स क्विकली आल्सो टॉक अबाउट लाइक म्यूजिक एंड व्हाट्स योर रिलेशनशिप विद म्यूजिक इन जनरल आई हैव अ वेरी आई वुड से अ वेरी बैड रिलेशनशिप विद विद म्यूजिक बिकॉज़ बचपन से मेरी लाइफ में इतना म्यूजिक रहा नहीं है लाइक वी वर ऑल्सो इन अ हाउस दैट डेंट प्ले अ लॉट ऑफ म्यूजिक माई रिलेशनशिप विद म्यूजिक मोस्टली इज जस्ट द नॉइज इन माई हेड इट्स वेरी इट्स वेरी ड्रोनी एंड एंड सॉर्ट ऑफ एम्बियंट नॉइजी काइंड ऑफ म्यूजिक आई लव ड्रोन म्यूजिक सो सो आई थिंक दैट्स वॉट यू वुड फाइन mostly in my films also so yeah there is that I, i to be completely honest i don't really have a very functional relationship with music but ye jo drony music jo aap keh rahe ho does it fascinate you ki like you said ki you use it also in your films no because meko is shabd ka matlab what time baat pata chala tha ki mere dimag mein ek hota tha ki jab bhi main picture dekhta tha to meko aisa aaj hua pata chala acha isko drone music bolte i got to not know it very later Yeah, I mean, again, I, I I think it's also a little unfair because if for me again personally, if you look at Tithli, it did have a score. It was not very droney, but with Agra, the moment we started talking about the soundscape, uh-huh. uh, Nitesh, who was my editor, uh, and Samarth, who came later on. So Nitesh and Samarth, actually, by the time Samarth came in, the, a lot of the oral design of the film was in place. so mostly with nitesh when we started working on the design for what kind of score should inhabit this film we realized that there was so much noise in in guru's head that it had to be something that is not definable it's more noise and that noise has to translate into some sort of a score so when i say this droniness it's इट सॉर्ट ऑफ रिसेंट ऐसा ऐसा नहीं है कि कोई एक ड्रोनी यूनिवर्स है मेरे दिमाग में 
but it's what sort of it it is it is and and it's different for dispatch i mean dispatch has a still has a score score although again it's a different score from what titli had to go back to the connection with music is mostly i think i was brought up pretty much on hindi film music so the biggest connection i have is to bollywood only so you don't need like a ambient music playing in the background while writing like a study music or all those things not really yes. no i i think more than one stimulus actually takes away for me so i if because if i have music playing while i'm writing then i start listening to the music <laughs> you know so it doesn't work for me i can't when i'm writing i need an amount of silence and a, an amount of focus where i'm just you know i i yeah i can't deal with one more stimulus when i'm writing and like oh, who are some of your biggest influences in the music landscape of india any albums any artists mushkil hai yaar aisa biggest influences matlab one big big influence is neha khanwalkar <laughs> right now because she's at home so you're influenced by Dude, her show sound tripping maine i have talked a lot about it on the channel like so oh, tripping on you so if you're going to ask what the biggest musical influence in our lives right now is me and my 3 year old i have a 3 and a half year old is sneha khanwalkar because her stuff is always playing in the house which is your favorite sneha khanwalkar song are yaar ye tum matlab marwaoge mujhe which is my favorite sneha track um i mean i think kala re is a very boring answer so uh there's the the there's one track actually really like which is uh, the track from uh, manto bol ke la bazaar she also did jugni no oh my lucky lucky ho ka jugni yes i really love that aise to i really i i i also like track from lsd quite a bit hmm. you also wrote one of yeah i wrote one i i wrote uh, tenu tv pe ve kya but i like the other track tu nangi achhi lagti hai वो वो एक सेकंड का क्या हुआ था वो बाद में गंदी हो गया था व्हाट वाज हां वो वो ओरिजिनली तू नंगी अच्छी लगती है ही था दैट्स व्हाट इट्स सपोज्ड टू बी बट वो गंदी हो गया था कि तू गॉट सेंसर्ड अरे यार हां सो वो सो आई ऑलवेज कॉल इट दैट बिकॉज़ दैट्स व्हाट वी मीन यस यस मैंने वही सुना था मैंने कहा बाद में ये गाना कब चेंज हुआ यार सो दैट दैट इज आल्सो समथिंग आई आई क्वाइट लाइक बट आई थिंक माय पर्सनल फेवरेट एंड इट्स रियली डिफिकल्ट टू पिक बट माय पर्सनल फेवरेट इज बोल के लम आजाद है तेरे। Have you seen Sound Tripping though, the MTV? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen it. Tung tung बजे tung tung। और सब हम इतनी close territory में ये तो another awkward question, which is your favorite Dibakar Banaji movie? I would say Oi Lucky. Maybe there's a certain nostalgia attached to it also because it was my first film ever, fresh out of film school, and I was an assistant and I had seen. the film so closely and i'm so emotionally attached to that film that i you know i can't separate myself from it still uh, that was my first proper filmmaking experience aur itna zyada maza aaya mujhe wo film mein that maybe yeah no but uh, yeah i would say what is after bomkesh bomkesh ke baad uh, i know the sandeep gar- or pinky na seedha yeah yeah i yeah, i saw it much later my favorite is khosla Yeah, I would say very lucky, and I'm really curious to see this. But uh, what we took me, I can't see. And he has also made some very cool ads, no? Yeah. yeah I, I really should be. It's a lot of fun. Have you made an ad ever? No. Uh, would you want to, or like as long as? I I don't mind, but मुझे कौन ही देगा है? डाबरलाल दंतमंजन की मिल सकती है. But I think वो you need to also have the vision to know that. Uh, a filmmaker can be many other things than the just the films that they make but whatever i would also like to see a music video by you or have you made any no, like ma mujhe dekhna hai because a lot of filmmakers make great ads great music videos that is also a territory i would like to see but anyway music ki bhi humne jaise baat kar li and uh, you were mentioning you also listen to podcast any particular that you would like to talk about or recommend Can't think of anything right now, yar. Yeah. You you wanna bring up some stuff? Yeah, I mean, you basically my end point into podcast are some episode. As a guest, kabi koi jata hai. So long form interviews ho gaye ya koi. Do you like watching any interviews? 
I mean, not not on a dedicated basis. I I mean, if something pops up, and if it's a if it's a filmmaker or an artist that I'm curious about, yeah. then I'll probably go go see what they're what they're saying. Abhi mein wohi dekh raha tha. I was seeing your father's episode of Guftagu. Jo ah. Guftagu is a great series. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Guftagu is something that I watch regularly, yeah. and and that. Irfan sahab is I really like what he does I think that was my film school to some extent also the episodes he did like the yeah. guftagu ke episodes yeah, yeah absolutely he is lovely he is amazing you have also been on guftagu yeah and one of my last questions uh, this is a standard question we ask all our guests a thing that you purchased for less than 10000 rupees that you would love to recommend to people ke hey i got this and you should maybe buy this it did have to be a book yeah uh because a i'm not i don't shop much i mean the last thing that i bought under 10000 was uh earphones for myself mm-hmm. earplugs but if i have to recommend something it would be a book under 10000 and uh <clears throat> what book would it be i would say uh, any of uh, tezuka's novellas is an interesting exploration got it specifically if you want to say there's ode to kirito by tezuka which i find amazing and are you a foodie are you passionate about food <laughs> yeah huh? do you have any food recommendations for us so which are your favorite places in mumbai to eat i would say indigo indigo delhi okay that's a place that if we're going out uh, i that will be my preferred option I don't know much about it sorry so what do they like they have continental ah. stuff so uh yeah they have they consistent and they have great food all the time uh their ice creams are mm. really lovely they have a salted caramel which is really nice mm. and then if you're going out with sneha then obviously you're having sushi so so <laughs> any of the good uh, japanese joints uh, around but my personal favorite is is indigo <laughs> आपने सोची बोला मेरे कैसे इंस्टा रील कभी कभी आई स्क्रॉल ना आई गॉट दिस रील अभी कि इफ यू एवर वॉन्ट अ सस्टेनेबल रिलेशनशिप विद अ गर्ल फ्रेंड एंड वॉन्ट टू सेव थ्री लैक रुपीज अ मेक श्योर शी डजेंट लाइक सुशी नो बट हियर तो द लव फॉर सुशी इज टू सच एन एक्सटेंड दैट समटाइम्स आई फील लाइक इट विल बी जस्ट चीपर टू बी इन जपैन Anything apart from that, like in regard to food, which is your favorite dish? This is sushi. You have told me about it. I'm mostly into home cooked food, yeah, especially off late for the last few years. So my favorite dish is actually just some roti with uh, bengan ka bharta and uh, a dal, any nice dal. In terms of desserts, I I really like Indian desserts. So a good gulab jamun, which is rare to find in Bombay. Where have you had a good gulab jamun in India? Delhi, obviously. Mm. There's no better place, or at least for me, there there hasn't been a better better place mm. except for Delhi. There is a standard question for all my episodes. That there is this concept, kind of an Imtiaz Ali concept. That what that toot your heart, say Sangeet nikalta hai. So do you need to have your heart broken to create art? You need to probably have your heart broken, but you need to have recovered from that heartbreak. wow okay to be able to talk about that heartbreak and and not talk about it to be able to reflect that emotion whatever it is in this case if we are saying heartbreak i think it's very important to have gotten over it before you start trying to express it i don't think you can be heartbroken and 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 express heartbreak because you're still heartbroken you don't fully know what heartbreak is again this we were talking about nostalgia and distance i go back there I think it's very important to be outside an emotion. Of course it's important to experience every emotion but be done with it to be able to look back at at it objectively and ha huh. but I understand the process of it and it makes a lot of sense but I'm particularly going towards the heartbreak emotion now. The sad artist thing you need to be sad to create good art. That's where my question is keep on. No. I I I think if if you are sad then it Uh, it, it defeats the purpose i don't think we should look at it in terms of happiness or sadness at all mm. i i don't think you can be happy to express something or you can be sad to express something 
you need to be able to distance yourself from the emotion to be able to express it in all its i don't even know if vividity is mm-hmm. uh, how vivid it is uh, to be able to express how vivid it is you need distance you need to look at it from the outside lovely lovely this is great we had a such a wonder did you have fun i, I had a lot of fun yeah you were so we tens se pehle ki kaise hoga but i hope it went smoothly yeah, yeah. yeah. and before we like uh, end the conversation we have a small like hamare brewing partners are blue tokai so mai jaldi se ja ke le aata hu we have this uh, small gift for you from blue Are, tokai thank you thank you so you much you like coffee i love coffee and uh, if you can ask all the people who watch this video and all your fans to subscribe to our channel chal chitra talks hi this is kanu behel and uh, i am here uh, at chal chitra talks please subscribe and like and uh, keep watching the channel if you like the content and if you like this little chat that we are having uh, yeah and i hope you keep coming back mm-hmm.